Boom. So it's it's really a matter it's really a matter of whether or not whether or not Nick ups gets upskirt by the camera this entire podcast. Uh, or, or if you know, we, we have a good Christian podcast like we usually do. I can't wait for you to absolutely lead this podcast because I too have like nothing to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, 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 I'll lead it. Uh, yeah, well, I, I got, I got, I got an idea for the cold opening here. All right. So, Daniel, we exist on a podcast together, right? It's you, it's me, two man team. Uh-huh, Some correct. people have been like, oh, bring a third person on, have guests, but yeah. we have such gr- uh, great banter and back and forth that I'm like, we don't need a third person. We barely need guests. The only yeah. time we really we barely need me here. I, I, what do you mean? That's fine. I mean, sure, there's times I go on, you know, long dialogues. Yeah, long dialogues, and then I have to bring out some food. I got some. I got some dialogues prepared for today <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of dialogues. You we got a, a big diatribe. This is. Let's just say, if you brought your pen and your paper for today's episode, you. You were sufficiently prepared because mm-hmm. there are a couple of things we need to talk about logistically. Okay. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Am I being f- fired? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, like, maybe. I'm being I promoted. I, I, or we're changing your title officially to Piss Boy yeah. and then we'll be all happy. I'm being, I'm becoming Nick. We're swapping chairs finally. Yeah, I don't know if you could handle this chair. So. I can handle that chair. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. You're going to do 10 minutes on Now Toes 24 <laughs> FPS and Curse Technique? Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, that did happen today. It did happen. I watched today. a lot of anime today. I also watched a lot of yeah, anime today. It gets that's muddied. Not even, that's not even what I talk about today. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Because like, sure, sure, you're on this podcast and you hold a lot of faith, and uh-huh. you know, like you love this podcast. But I was scrolling through TikTok like I do. Uh-huh. You know, I was just hanging out, and I see, I see Danny Mata pop up. It sure does feel like I'm about to get fired. And Danny Mata is committing actual, like, like brain effort to defending another podcast not even you and me you're defending oh, the, yeah. the the other i don't the marvel the version escape of us the podcast is that what it's called yeah they are the marvel version of us because i'm constantly stealing bits from them are, are, are we, are we, stealing are, games are sometimes we, we do that i don't know i stole the idea of games from them other podcasts do games uh-huh. but like what got me to follow them was i was like Damn, these games are fun. Uh-huh. You know, I like playing along with them. Yeah. Um, I was defending them. Which, you know, like, I, yeah, they kind of hurt my feelings. What do you mean? I defend us. Well, well, I guess We're rarely under attack. I was going to say, yeah. that's kind of the thing is that nobody hates us. Yeah. Yeah. Which, well, is, which is wild. Well, mm. have you seen the comments of our tier lists? Oh, well, yeah, those people. They don't like that. They don't count. Those yeah. are, oh, AI, no. those are yeah. AI generated. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. That's just like people being like 14 year old yeah. angry about fictional universe yeah. uh, generate. That's what happens when TikTok catches on that a podcast is going to blow up too big too quickly mm-hmm. so it like as a countermeasure sends out ai generated hate messages yeah yeah that's so, so that's all the hate that we get yeah exactly but like, here's the thing. and my mom go on well here's the thing i feel like i feel like the hate that they get you know i know i know both of them personally they're they're nice people um deserved and they suck so okay no <laughs> no but like i feel like so people aren't like stitching our videos and being like these fuck it like no one's like oh like doing 10 minutes on being like here's why martin scorsese films are incredible and you're right, fuck- yeah. like I, the way that i saw that clip initially yeah. was that they were like they were like all right tell me your feelings on all right to give you some premise on what we're talking about here there is the escape the podcast which is two guys uh, they mostly talk about yeah. Marvel films, but they mostly just talk about like films in general. And they were like, all right, they both got invited to an early screener of Martin Scor- Scorsese's new yeah, film. Killers of the Flower Moon. That's the one. Yeah. And so they were like, on the count of three, uh, tell us how, like, let's talk about how we felt about Killers of the Flower Moon. So they're like, three, two, one. And they both kind of did the Michael Jordan shrug. Like they're like, <laughs> you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, and so that meme, that just got memed out of control. So the first yeah. time that I saw it wasn't even the original. It was somebody stitching it and then like just drawing them as like kind of like <laughs> yeah. metal monsters just horrifically detailed like yeah yeah uh so no that doesn't happen to us no not really and it might be because our haters aren't talented enough like i think that might be it or it's just like because like we've had what one hate stitch yeah. in the history of our entire podcast not that i don't take this as an inv- invitation to do this but like i feel like we carry some goodwill in the podcast community i get so excited towards hate stitches <clears throat> Opposed to hate comments. Like, if someone makes, makes, like, a video about it, for some reason that feels a little more flattering. Really? I, I prefer, like, an argument be made rather than just L take, bro. There's that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. There's, like, someone's, like, here's my thesis. 
this guy has no penis. Gosh. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, fuck, I don't. How did he know? <laughs> you're like, wait, wait. We were talking about Rompo. How did he find this out? Just receding into me. Yeah, every single, like, yeah. every single stitch takes, like, a centimeter off your penis. Yeah, exactly, because every comment becomes fact on mm-hmm. the internet. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, so yeah, they didn't like Killers of Flower Moon. I haven't seen it, mm-hmm. and I don't care like it so i i didn't defend them yeah. because i've met them or because i like their podcast or anything like that don't watch the podcast i like i watch the highlights on tiktok yeah, i don't I, listen to the I full get pod it occasionally yeah i j- for some reason i just like seek out justice wherever it needs be sought out i i love the you white knighting for just anybody just any anyone in any side because when it all started kind of with Martin Scorsese like a year ago or maybe two being I, that could have been four years ago and I believe you I have no idea how long Occasionally people will be like oh yeah this happened like a six years ago and I'm like yeah. I am 90 I yeah, ba- need AARP immediately back in 1991 Martin Scorsese was like Marvel films are like roller coaster rides they're yeah. not really art because Marvel is so constricting to the filmmakers mm-hmm. and it's so formulaic like it's just they have they have a rubric and then they put it out like it's processed meat. I agree with Scorsese. Is he wrong? He's so correct. Yeah. And when that happened, all the Marvel fans like came at his throat and you're, were like, I'm sorry, Disney adults is what you were trying sorry, to say. Disney, yeah. All the very intelligent Disney adults mm-hmm. came at his throat and were like, what does this fucking senile old man know about filmmaking anymore? What does this one of the most talented directors yeah. of all time know about <laughs> film? Listen, me personally, I've seen every movie in the MCU three times, so I understand what a good movie looks like. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so like, it's so funny for people who have never made a film or like researched anything about it to be like, this prestigious director doesn't know what he's talking yeah. about. Like this literal like student of the motherfucking game. Yeah. yeah. Like, but so, so that happens. So now there's tension between like Marvel fans and Scorsese. Yeah. So they put out this take where killers of the flower moon, they compared it to going to the DMV. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause they were like, if Marvel movies are roller coaster rides, Scorsese movies are going to the DMV where it's necessary and I get that I have to do it, yeah. but it's too long and it's inconvenient. Mm-hmm. And like, that's so clearly like a bit, like he feels that way, yeah. but the tone is light. Yeah. Like that's a funny way to put it. It is, yeah. And, and it, it, it also kind of makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Like good analogy, yeah. if you believe that. All these fucking pretentious douchebags now mm-hmm. are like coming at them being like, like, they one that I stitched, they were like, you know, like, I get it. I get why we need these films. And then someone stitched and they're like, no, you don't get it. Yeah. And that was the tone of the rest of the stitch. So silly. Yeah. I'm like, fucking relax. Martin my Scorsese dude. is not going to take out his dentures to suck your <laughs> penis because you defended his 19th movie. I know. They're like, this is so disrespectful to Martin Scorsese. And it's like. What what do they owe Martin this is Scorsese? Glazing. This is yeah. this is I like to give like you yeah. context to what these words mean. That's Martin Scorsese glazing. Yeah, yeah they be glazing hard, bro. They're, they be glazing. Yeah. They be yapping <laughs> and glazing. Yeah, I guess they be. I guess they do be. They do be. Yeah. <laughs> they be in. Um, but so so yeah, I made a TikTok just being like the artsy douchebags who are like coming at their throats are literally just like the cinema snob version of the Marvel fans who came at Scorsese. It's the same person. It's the same thing. It's the same person, but they were like, oh, I'm going to make this my personality instead of like, that's, that's the wildest thing to me. Yeah. It's like, it's like Islam and like like Judaism, not liking each other, (laughs) but like the core tenets of both religion is the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, so it's like, you guys just chose different sides. You're the same person. What's wild to me. And what's really fun to me is I don't like Martin, like Martin Scorsese movies, but at least nowadays, some of them are very good. Like I didn't like the Irishman. I haven't seen killers of the flower moon. So I can't talk about it. I also don't like Marvel movies. Yeah. So I'm like, you both fucking suck. That, yeah, that's like the perspective I'm hitting it yeah. from too. Like, I was like, I fucking, I don't want to watch a three hour movie about a man getting old as a yeah. mobster. And I don't want to watch a fucking formulaic hour and a half, th- even three hour yeah. movie about Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel and whatever third Marvel girl yeah. is coming to the fucking, like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, like, I, I know. I like the last, everyone's like, oh, would, wasn't Guardians of the Galaxy 3 good? No. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, no. it was. It was always the best Marvel movie we've gotten in years. It was so yeah. fine. There's no bar. Like, There's no bar called, anymore. The reason everybody <laughs> thought that movie was good is because it like it was oh Ant Man Quantum was the last fucking movie we saw from Marvel. It was like that's it's like of course it looks good compared to that pile of shit. So like ah oh, fucking neither of these are fun or good. 
Wow. Go watch a real yeah, good it's movie. It's no Fast X. Go watch Meg <laughs> Two. Like go watch the <laughs> Meg Two. Like I don't like if if we want to talk about good cinema. Your takes are so confusing. I love this thing. Is like I like one like part of me is being like purposely like uh, facetious, yeah. like facetious, facetious, facetious. Yeah, is it an F? It is an F. I swore it was a V. Yeah, yeah. that is mind blowing to me. It's okay. Go on. Part of me was perfectly being facetious, uh, <laughs> and then also a part Getting of in my vosusi, my vos, <laughs> my togusi. Uh, we'll go over. The, we'll go over why. Me and Danny yeah, yeah. are currently dressed up in a second, uh, but also which, part which of me, our audio only listeners don't even know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You'll get it in a second because yeah. I'll be like, "What are we talking about with the tail gussy?" But also at the same time, an hour and a half bad action movie, kind of the height of cinema. Yeah, in my mind, I know, Here's I know it, what's in your, your mind. Your point was it needs to be entertaining. Yeah, what's more entertaining than hundred a hundred minutes? Yeah, of just straight. Beat your action. That is fucking mint. I like don't consider anything under an hour and a half to be a movie. That's well, okay. That's like fair. a TV special. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yes. Hour and 25 minutes. Absolutely. Uh-huh. We just watched me and Dorothy just watched the final destination movies. And one of them was like an hour and 21 minutes. And Ridiculous. I was, like, and I was like, what are we doing? Here? Yeah. But then again, if I see it, but it's like hits one thirty, like a yeah. minute 30 and an hour 30. I'm like, that, that's like the bare minimum requirement for me to be a film. See, my thing is like something about just an hour yeah. and a half. It's like we start this movie at 930. We're done by 11 and then we go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this that, is like, oh, let's let's clock in for Killers of the Flower Moon. And you're like, oh, what time is, is yeah, it? Let six? me clear my schedule. Yeah, yeah that's my <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, anything above two hours. I'm like, that's a fucking I haven't watched the Mr. Sleep, the the follow up to yeah. The Shining because it's it's in, first off, it's a horror movie. Yeah. Second off, it's two hours and 20 minutes long. Fuck that. That's crazy. A horror movie should be 90 minutes. Uh, That's stupid. That's so funny. I think, well, it's funny to me that your thing about it isn't that you're like, the best movie is 90 minutes because that's like a good structure for a film. Mm. Your thing is you love the idea of doing shit after or going to bed early. Absolutely. (laughs) You love the idea of just like a quick bite of a film. Like, yeah, just pop in, watch a movie, have the whole rest of the day ahead of me. Let's not sit here and act like when you go out to a meal, the best part of that meal is almost always the appetizer. Fair. Like you get your entree and you're like, oh, I should order something else. But you get two or three appetizers like brought to the table and you're like, fuck yeah. Yeah. I absolutely wanted a meatball calamari and a side (laughs) salad. Fucking give me that. And you're also, it's like when you're the hungriest, but then you get to like, oh, you're like, oh, I also got a carbonara. It's like, I I know I get indigestion when I eat cream. It's like you got like an hour and a half movie is just. You had so much material for this. <laughs> That's like, I love it. I love because here's the thing. I also like it's all about it's about pacing. Yeah. If you can build out a problem, like like be like, oh, rising action climax here, like, and then we're falling, right, right. and then it's like, oh, there's a second peak. Like we figured out why we were falling, and then close in an hour and a half. Yeah. That's perfectly paced to me. Okay, That's right. Good. I feel that. Yeah, that is good pacing for sure. You know sure. what? You know what? It's not even about Martin Scorsese or Marvel movies. <laughs> They're just too fucking long. Well, that's, that's, what, that's my take. If Martin Scorsese films or Marvel movies were an hour and a half, I'd be on both their sides. That's what I'm saying is you, this is so not about my TikTok to these people. Mm-hmm. You are like, I have this bubbling inferno of rage that yeah. you've been sitting on. About just using me. too goddamn long. <laughs> it's just using me for it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I feel that. I mean, look, like, it's also funny that, like, people are coming at this podcast and being like, these guys clearly don't love cinema. And their whole back wall is, like, Boba Fett figures. Yeah. And it's like, who's fucking coming to this podcast expecting like them to describe 1930 art house cinema. Here's the thing. Okay. Uh, and this is a legitimate question. Yeah. Their background is a bunch of Funko Pops, right? Yeah. Do you think their back, like, like I obviously I'm going to side with our backdrop yeah. being like way cooler. Uh huh. Do you think the like general community would be like, Oh yeah. Cooler background. Cause here's the thing. There's I, is, I do. Th- you think theirs is cooler. I think theirs is cooler because there, it'd be the equivalent of if this wall was the stuff. Okay, I'm not, I think talking, that, I'm not talking about layout, Daniel. I'm talking about the, the layout shit we helps. have. We have cooler shit for sure. That's what I'm saying. Objectively cooler shit. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I'd like to think, like, but the thing is, like, if we had a bad take, right? Yeah. And people were like, people wouldn't come at our backdrop. That's my thing. Because right. everyone's like, of course, fucking Funko Pops over here. Things people smart. would. What are you talking about? That I, I think I would use this as a defense, too. If people came at us and were like, their review of Killers of the Flower Moon sucked. I'd be like... Hey, yeah. guess yeah, <laughs> guess my fucking taste, asshole. That's, Look at me. <laughs> that's genuinely very fair. And that's a great yeah. segue. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is actually 
coming out. Oh, no, it's coming out on the 29th. I forgot yeah. that Halloween isn't until Tuesday. Tuesday. But it's coming out as close to Halloween as we're going to have an episode come out this week, uh, this year. Uh, so me and Daniel are both dressed up. I'm Toga, whose name we forgot on a podcast like two weeks yeah. ago, so this feels appropriate. And then Daniel is. I am Rompo, yes. uh, really stoking the flames of the whole Danpo situation. You're really riding this 15 minutes of fame, aren't you? <laughs> you you're fucking telling me mm-hmm. my Halloween special is me wearing this, reading the fan fiction. That's... Subscribe my YouTube for that. That feels like it should be on Patreon with how intimately they talk about entering each other's holes. It's not, it's more romantic. There's one where I'm pregnant. Well, because it was written by a woman. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it too. And there's like 10 now. There's 10 fan fiction pieces about me. Are you reading all 10? I read like three or four and I have no sense of how long that video is going to be. Video's already out. Yeah. No, well, no. well it's already on been Halloween. recorded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Videos recorded took like an hour and a half of recording time. No idea how long it is. Oh, uh, we got money. Danny copying Nick and flexing is chihuahua energy if I've ever seen it. I'm not reading anymore. I'm no longer <laughs> reading the chat. This is why I'm going to read the live chat, ladies <laughs> yeah. and gentlemen. I, uh, unfortunately, yeah. I got this in a uh, uh, Japanese woman's medium. Nice. Uh, so it is much too small. So I might look bigger than I actually am because if I if I go like this, mm. I will blow the back out nice. of this cosplay. I'm, I'm wearing a child's large a female child's large because surely, the buttons are on the left. Surely you're joking. Surely you'd hope. You I, the <laughs> don't CIA, call me surely, the, and no, I'm not. The CIA couldn't have waterboarded that information <laughs> out of me. <laughs> I'm wearing a child's huge, which makes me feel big. What are you? Are you oh. laughing because it's a child's big, or are you laughing because I'm because kind of you swimming in it? Because freely gave because I'm like one, swimming in it's this too thing. Too big, and two, you freely gave up the information that you're like, oh yeah, I still I, I can still fit in the kids aisle. We were chatting about you're wearing a woman's thing, I'm wearing a kid's thing. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah you, you we're and, confiding in each other. Uh, that being said, the the vast majority of people who I saw wearing rompo outfits at any anime convention. 14 year old women. So yeah. this, this does make a lot of fucking it does sense. Make sense. Actually. That's the market. They didn't expect someone like me to be purchasing. I this. feel like Rompo as a cosplay has the most chaperones in tow. It's like, it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, I can't go to this con without my mother. So I'm going dressed up as Rompo. Like that is to a T what the Rompo cosplay is. I see is. a lot of Bungo stray dogs, couples cosplays. I see. I if is it I see the two, is it the two siblings? It's no. Is it, it the two? They stop doing that like six episodes in. Oh, good for them. They just oh, drop oh, it. A oh, round of applause. <laughs> At least it's not like Game of Thrones where they started. Oh, I guess they, they they never really. They kind of dropped it in the middle there. They went back to. They it. They don't really drop it. Uh, They're still into uh, each other the uh, whole time. That's fair. But anyway, I it's, hey, my sister looked no. <laughs> like yes, like Cersei. Yeah, yeah. Or or like like the, Cersei. Wait, no. Cersei. That's her name, but she's not like worth fucking your sister over. Or the, I, that being said, it would more be like if my brother looked like, what's the other one? What's Jamie, Jamie. I'm, I buy that. He's That's better. Slice of meat, that man is. Um, slice of meat. Hunka, hunka. <laughs> hey, hey, salami, why hey, don't you? Bring the, <laughs> hey, yo, Mr. Pastram, put your ass on my table. <laughs> Pastram. What are you, what are you, sliced meat the way I want to put you on my shark coochie board? <laughs> Talking about my shark this is my impression board. of your father. This oh is God. what I believe your father yeah. sounds like. My dad's like, hey, that prosciutto is cute. No, no. <laughs> there we go. He doesn't have your ability for puns, yeah. but you know, he's got the yeah, you know, I've refined it. Yeah. Um, I do have to mention before I forget, like uh-huh. I have the past three weeks. Nice. So uh, I met a viewer, someone from my Patreon. I yes. told you about this. Um, she's very sweet. We just got dinner in Burbank somewhere. Not, I a, I not a you. singular time did you is there a, is there a tier on your patreon take danny out to a date because <laughs> that's yeah, date me. fucking genius <laughs> like a nice like a look well lit italian meal with danny for a hundred dollars a month yeah okay they're just like sweating it out like have no money anymore <laughs> like, it's like a five thousand dollar tier <laughs> you bring them to like yeah like Fleming's. Yeah, yeah, you're like, like, all right um also you're paying for dinner yeah. so thank you um no i met up with a discord um I almost said server. I did not meet up with an the entire whole, the whole fucking server. Yeah, we just ruined an yeah, Italian just joint. Yeah, closed down a street. Yeah. Um, but I met up with someone, and they gave me a little goodie bag of a bunch of like Japanese treats, and one from Singapore, and it was super sweet. And they also sent me some like uh, Demon Slayer like merch and stuff like that. This is the first time I'm hearing any of this. It's wild. You thought you told me this? Stop! I definitely did on For the pod. For sure, have I never heard the story? 
Anyway, it was like three weeks ago, and I know that because I kept meaning to bring the bag with the treats. Um, I've lost the bag. You've lost? <laughs> this is what you needed to tell us? I don't know where it is. That your, your highest Patreon tier <laughs> member gave you something and you fucking lost it? Yeah, the it? kiss tier. Yeah. Um, well, because they were like, I can't believe you forgot. We were going to do like an, uh, an, eat, an eat thing, an uneating an so unboxing? this is an admission of guilt. Yes, and they were like, you forgot again. I'll remind you next time. I'm like, okay. And then they remind me this morning, and they're like, did you remember? And I was like, worse. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I don't know where it is. You did move. No, not recently no, enough. Not. No, <laughs> they know. The way I'm trying to help I currently. Know. Listen, if I find it, and if the food's still good... <laughs> You and me, we yeah. get food poisoning yeah, eating it. it'll be us. Nice. That'll be the last part. <laughs> That'll be it. All right, uh, well, this has been Talks Anonymous. Thank you so much for hanging out here, guys. We're going to go try three-week-old food and go poison ourselves. No, kidding. Hi, I'm Sammer 23 Thanks for checking in for this week's uh, Talks Anonymous. That was the ending of our cold opening, I guess. A lot to talk about. Uh, uh, that has nothing to do with anime because it's Halloween and we're getting super spooky, which means we have a spooky-themed draft. We have a spooky-themed game. Uh, but first and foremost... My co-host, per usual, mm -hmm. is Danny Mata. Mm -hmm. um, you can find me on YouTube as Danny. I I thought we were ending the episode no, for some no, no, reason no, all of a are. sudden. Yeah. Well, you tricked me because you were like, "Well, all right, everybody," and that like that tone mm. and that phrase triggered my brain to be like, "Do do 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 do." <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Oh, Bye, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I just like you know I just. <laughs> 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 Anytime we're closing. Fuck, wait. Speaking of which, did you did you hear back from Glorpy Guy? I didn't hear back Fuck. yet. Fuck! I reached out to the frog-type beat composer. Yeah. Did you see the instrument he uses? It's, it's a goddamn flumpus. It is the <laughs> glorpiest thing I've ever seen. It's, <laughs> it is like, it is made from, like, bull hide. It's like Optimus Prime's intestines. Yeah. It's like a big fucking, like, alien-ass thing you blow in, and then, like, this table's worth of electronic shit. It is literally like, it might be the, like, you know the thing that they're playing in the cantina in Star Wars? Yeah. It might be that. Uh, for those of you who are confused, like, what, what are they talking about? Yeah. Um, this is the music we're talking about. Really just fucking and excuse excuse uh my terminology from the nineties mm. got crunk. I was <laughs> I was crunking a little bit there, yeah. You were popping and locking. Thank God you went with underwear. If ever there's been a reason, if ever there's been a reason to pop into the YouTube, <laughs> yeah. I did just fully shake ass the frog type beat. So um, I love this frog type beat. I'm <laughs> trying to get it to be the theme song of the podcast. Yes. I found the guy who made it and I reached out to him. I'm going to continue reaching out to him in every avenue until he lets us make this. The His theme comments song. were the most like this passes the vibe check of all time because it was just like this is the scloopiest music. I was just like so many, so many glorps and like yeah. scoops. And I was like, fuck there, yeah. Yeah, there was one where it's like when Grumpus brings his flimbo. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. Like, I've never related to something I understood <laughs> less than this fucking right here. It reminds me, you showed me a TikTok of like, uh, Star Wars epi episode three, mm -hmm. but Obi Wan Kenobi's name is like Obi Doo Obi Doo Kenobu or yeah. something. It's, it's so just, funny. It's just being like, Run, Uber, Uber, Uber. <laughs> yeah. just like fucking this right here scratches my brain yeah. in the correct way. Uh, so yes, that's my that's our cold open. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of I wanted to open up with some like conversation that doesn't have to do with like our big topics for the week because our big topics for the week weren't even all that interesting. Yeah. Um, but so a little a little update for me. I switched off of one pace. Oh, I, I was not moving fast because I was here's the thing. I can't work out and read subtitles. Right. And that's what I did all this morning. I thought one pace got dubbed. No, it wait. Did. It, so like if you go to the dub, there's like a dub thing. And it's like, oh, download Telegram. And you can like download these episodes. Right. All fucking Japanese though. Uh, so it's, it's stupid as shit. And so I looked into it and it, it yeah. doesn't exist. So I'm back on the regular one piece until we hit like episode 950. And then it's going to be English again. Mm -hmm. Or then English will be over and I'll go back to one pace. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about. Tokyo Avengers, but not about the plot of Tokyo okay. Avengers. Because there's a little bit of, a little bit of like controversy. Oh, like, oh, uh, I don't right. know if that's the word, but like, there's just like a lot of talk revolving around Tokyo Avengers because its third season is being continued right now into like the, I don't even know what arc to call this. Like, it's not even the Christmas arc. It's like the, oh, they're fucking, they're in some they're place. They're fucking. They're they're literally <laughs> exactly like they're in some place, uh, and I forget what it's called. But anyways, when does an anime get too repetitive? 
That's the question that I have. Yeah. What? Okay. I want to. Can you give me some examples of other anime that have? Okay, so here's my thing. We so, talked about One Piece actually getting repetitive, well, right? So I feel like there's kind of a scope on yeah. like, it's like, this is like the same thing over and over and over again. And then this is the same thing changed up a little bit. And then this is the same thing on its like in its core. Yeah. But like the themes are massively different right. every single time we do it. Yeah. So like, I feel like right now, Tokyo Avengers is kind of doing this thing where basically if you, if you don't know Tokyo Avengers, Takamichi is the main character. He has the ability to go back in time uh, or yeah, go back in time to save like his future, essentially right. go back like 12 years in time. And so his whole future gets fucked and he's like, I want to go back in time. Well, I don't even think he does it on purpose, but anyways, he goes back in time to like the day when he was in a gang and he's trying to fix this gang. Uh, and so basically every single 12 episodes, a new bad guy gets introduced to the gang. And then he's like, I need to get this bad guy out of the gang. Then he goes back to the future it's still fucked. Right. And so he's like, oh no, what yeah. happened? And so he goes back to the past and then he's like, oh, there's this other bad guy who I didn't is even it, realize. At this point, does he go to the future and it's like still on fire or whatever? And he's like, fuck. And then just goes back. And More like, or less. It just this, brings like gat this time. Like. So this most recent time he went back and then it was like, oh yeah, um, everything's like, everybody was like, he went back and then everybody in the gang was dead. And mm. he was like, well, that can't happen. So he has to go back in time and fix that. Now he goes back in time and then he fucking dies. Um. But before he dies, he reaches, like, he touches the hand of the guy who sends him back so he gets sent back but now we can't go back to the future anymore because he's fucking dead in that right future. right uh so it's really like but the thing is like every single time he comes back there's a new bad guy he's got to get them out of the gang and then he goes back in time and it's all fucked yeah uh and like people are saying it's the same thing over and over and over again and that's boring it's repetitive but the counter argument to that is like there's so much anime that's repetitive and we don't call it out whatsoever so, like, the uh, the counter argument to, like, oh, you think Tokyo Avengers is repetitive? Then what's Demon Slayer? I think, well, I think that's people's problem with season three of Demon Slayer yeah. is it does feel like it got repetitive. So, I asked, like, the wrong question, I think. I don't think we should talk about, like, which ones have gotten repetitive. Because you're right, it's Demon Slayer. It's kind of One Piece. Yeah. Which ones... Ha what are some long anime that haven't gotten repetitive? It's like Naruto, you said Shippuden, like burned you out. Well, that's so not necessary repetition. Naruto's not repetitive at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing is like Naruto is like, I think to not be repetitive, yeah. there is a clear, if there's a clear goal in sight and you work your way there the entire time, like through obstacles, then that's kind of like. But Naruto could, didn't have that. Like episode one of, or like arc, Three of yeah. Naruto, like by fighting Gara, you don't know where they're headed mm -hmm. by Shippuden. You know what I mean? Well, like, I guess, but the arc, like the the whole arc, like at its most basal core for Naruto is I want to become Hokage. And so it's like everything mm -hmm. he does is in service of becoming the Hokage. Yeah. But like if you break it down arc by arc, it's like the Land of Waves arc. Yeah. It's like, okay, we have to protect this bridge. There's these two people we have to defeat. Sure. And they do that. They build the bridge. They go back. There's a tuning exams. Now, sure, there's a bunch of people you have to defeat. And like you could, you could be like, oh, there's always new people yeah. to defeat. But that's just anime. Yeah. But it's like this is now an exam. And right. then after that is the Konoha Crush arc. So this is a war. And then yeah. after that is the Sasuke Retrieval arc. So it's like now we're chasing after a friend. Then you get into Putin. It's like... Like, it's more about like political world building. So no, it's like, yeah. we have to beat the Akatsuki and then yeah. we have to get the five Kage together. And now we have to fight this war and now we have yeah. to fight Kaguya. Yeah, my hero's like that too, where it's like, you know, he wants to become like a professional hero. Yeah. And so they have the luxury of being like, okay, he's doing high school. Now he's doing an internship. Yeah. And now he's doing he's like- his license. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. So it's like, it pops like different themes. It's like, and that's the argument, like the counter argument for One Piece not being repetitive. Cause it's like, sure he goes to a new island. Sure, you know, it's like, there's a new bad guy. Yeah. Uh, Luffy's far away. He gets locked up and he spends 30 episodes running. But at the end of the day, like Punk Hazard is about- I don't even know if Pud's a terrible you example. You picked a bad one. That was you a really bad Punk example. Hazard, yeah. uh, so it was like Marine Ford is a war yeah. between like the strongest, uh, like the strongest pirate and like the entire like yeah. military. But then like uh, Whole Cake Island is about getting Sanji back and battling against an emperor. So like while the formula for every single arc is exactly the same, they explore such different themes throughout the yeah. arc that it's not like repetitive in a way where you're like, oh, fuck this. I, it's just, it's repetitive when not one piece, but like anything is repetitive when it doesn't feel like things are changed. Like, I think you need intrigue. Yeah. Right. Because like one piece and I just had the other one. Fuck. What was it? But like, like attack on Titan. That's what it was. Yeah. Attack on Titan doesn't really get repetitive, even though like 
they don't really get new forms. Mm. Like, yeah, season one, you have like Aaron becomes a Titan, and then season two, you could be like, oh, Aaron has to train as a Titan, and you get more Titan shifters. Yeah. But then like season three and four aren't really like oh, what are the new types of Titans? Like, that's not really the deal, but it maintains intrigue because you're like, you're still like, what's up with this world? And then when you finally yeah. find out like all the answers, now it's like, we have to take down who started this. That's the thing is I think with Attack on Titan, it's constantly shifting who the antagonist is. Mm -hmm. So you're like, you're like, you're not worried about what the cycle of what we're going through is. You're worried about who are we trying to be? Yeah. So you're always looking for those answers and like the constant pursuit of those answers. And then you get them, you know, like once Aaron becomes the final baddie, you're yeah. like, okay, I've found, you know, the, like the answer to like, who's the baddie? Who are we trying yeah. to be? So like, that's the thing. So like Tokyo Avengers though, while, I enjoy it. Like it's a show that I watch and I'm like, this is fun. At the same time, I think because every single time he comes back from the, like the future, it's mm -hmm. kind of like the, the universe is reset where he's like, got rid of that bad guy. And then it's just a new bad guy that he has to get out of the gang. Yeah. So it's like, nothing's changing because every single time you come back, the dude who you got out of the gang is now like a good guy in the gang. And now it's just fresh gang, new bad guy, same shit. You know what I think would cause it to not be repetitive? Mm -hmm. Cause like, Tokyo Revengers does have a goal, like you were saying you need. Like, he wants to not fuck up the future. Yeah. Or he wants to, like, fix the he future. He wants his girlfriend to survive. That's yeah. literally, like, and then, like, everybody so that, else as well. So, like you said, that's, like, what Naruto has, where it's, like, wants to become the Hokage. And like you said, that should make it not repetitive. But I think the problem with Tokyo Revengers, from what you're describing, mm. is it's a plot where, like, it will trick you into thinking that that is resolved so it's like he goes back in time does something comes back to the future you would think that that would fix the future it doesn't yeah has to go back does something else didn't fix the future again i yeah. think if he came back future was fixed and then new conflicts happened yeah. in the future when he gets to like 25 yeah, yeah. then that would be that's a really good point yeah that's a really good point i think it's point. the fact that it's literally the same thing happening over and over again or yeah because it's the plot resets itself every 12 yeah. episodes essentially mm -hmm. but if he like went back in time it got fixed and he was like well i'd like to do life over again because i fucked yeah. up and then like as he grows up there's more conflicts yeah it's like he, exactly like, he, like he's like 14 right now it's like he's 18 and he's like oh like it's like he has to live in the future that he's created. Yeah. I think that would be like a kind of more interesting story. Um, but at the same time, like it's kind of like it's fallen to that Dr. Stone category for me where I'm like, I'm going to watch this. I'm not going to talk about it. But like, it's just like, it's one of these shows that I put enough time into where like, I'm going to see how it fucking ends, you know? Yeah. Like, no, I want exactly. to catch the ending. You have so many sunk cost shows like Hanuma mm. or whatever. What is it? Hanuma? Yeah. What is it? What the fuck is Hanuma? Like, relax. I got it wrong. I don't, I, the, like so drastic. Like I can't Google. Google autocorrect would but even what it's like a boxing one starts with an H. Oh, 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 Kengan Ashura. No record of Ragnarok. No, Baki it's Hanma. With... Yes. Baki Hanma. Hanma. Yeah, 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 gotcha. yeah, that one. Hanma was actually pretty yeah, close. I know it, it was, was actually pretty close. pretty close, but okay. The problem is like, it's usually just called Baki. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was like, I, okay, okay. Yes. So like, I do have a lot of shows where it's like, it's just popular. So I'm like, Oh fuck it. It's good to stay in touch. Mm -hmm. You know? So like, I can make a TikTok and be like, this is fucking yeah. bad. Right. And everyone can be like, yeah, it's kind of bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, that does numbers on TikTok, and we're all happy for a day. Um, Outside for of only that, a day. That's all it is. Oh, I want to say, I think my, I think as a total, because I was, I was making a TikTok about Tokyo Avengers and I kind of gauge the popularity of an anime based off, you know, you, like you use a hashtag on TikTok and it tells you how many views that hashtag has. Yeah. yeah. 80 billion. 80 billion. <laughs> for Tokyo for Avengers? Tokyo Avengers, 80 billion. I see zero Tokyo Revengers Isn't that TikToks. Fucking, the thing is, that's because it was so big Tokyo. for yeah. half a year. It was yeah. the biggest thing on earth for half a year. Well, it's also bigger in Japan, right? Yeah. Or not anymore, we talked about. Yeah, It's just harder to find in Japan yeah. right now. Wow. So that's that, crazy, because well, I also do that. I'm like, oh, am I going to talk about Warframe? And it's like, 500,000. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's so like, every time, like there's characters like, Naruto has the most out of any anime. Uh, then like My Hero Academia is up there. One wow, Piece not One there. Piece? Yeah, that's what No, One Piece does not have that many views on hashtags. Naruto's so weirdly huge still. Yeah. No one likes it anymore. I know. Like I'm aware. I know you're part of it, but it's so weird that like, I don't know. What, after, when we wrap this up, can we talk about why you think that is? Social acceptance. 
I'll talk about it right now. Talk, talk about it right now. This Do is it live. fully a thing Fuck that you it. would. This is fully a thing you would talk about on an anime podcast. Well, but I mean, like, not after the pod. I mean, yeah. after our subject oh, that we're gotcha. going on. Um, with Tokyo Revengers. I was gonna say that the expectations were too high. Yeah, I would be like, everyone was like, "Oh my god, this is the greatest anime of all time." And then, like, now that they're realizing like what the show is, everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it was just like this good." It's because yeah. it hasn't gotten worse. That's the thing. It's the same plot every twelve episodes, and it hasn't gotten worse. So everyone just like, I feel like everyone's just realized it wasn't as good as we hyped it up to be originally. Yeah, like yeah. the first twelve episodes, everyone was like freaking out about it, and I was like, "Am I being a hate?" I was like, "Am I being a hater?" <laughs> yeah. I was like, "I'm just like I like it, but it's not as good as you're talking about." Mm. All right, on to the Naruto thing because that is infinitely more interesting to half of our fan base here who probably come from me. Uh, Naruto is as popular as it is not because Naruto is great, not because uh-huh. Naruto is the best anime you can watch out right now. It's not even the best long anime you can watch out right. right now. There's better like Hunter Hunter is a better option. Mm. You know, even like if you wanted to watch like a like a pretty modern you know like you tap into like yeah. a like a like a like a active community yeah. mha you know, hero, or yeah. you know, attack on titan like there's like other ongoing anime right now that you can tap in and feel like you're a part of this culture yeah social acceptance it's the reason that dragon ball is still popular it's and because what oh, do you mean social acceptance like it's popular because it's popular sort of yeah like literally okay the thing is if somebody's like, oh, you should watch anime, it like, if, if you're like, oh, I talk about anime, people will be like, what will people say to you? They're like, oh, I've, I've seen Naruto. Yeah. I've seen Attack on Titan. Here's the thing, though, because, yeah, no one talks about the Pokemon anime. I'll just cut to the chase. Here, No one talks about that. And also, Dragon Ball would probably be more talked about if the copyright wasn't so fucking strict. Z is still very talked about that. But not nearly at the scope of Naruto. No. And I think Naruto, I don't think it's just like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm-hmm. Like I think Naruto has the bones or like it makes sense to me, like mathematically why Naruto is still talked about. Like there's so much potential for like theory crafting, yeah. which you've made your entire career on. I, like parts of my career (laughs) sir there's so much potential for like theory crafting it's like fun to power scale because the powers at least early days like i could talk about just episode one two uh, the fight between sasuke and naruto like everything in there Mm -hmm. you could talk about for years because all of the powers aren't like power level scaled like no one's planetary yet yeah no what do you mean? Oh, in oh, in OG, in, in OG, yeah, yeah, like no one's planetary yet. So you like it's so fun to be like they're ninjas. Well, yeah, it'd be it's so fun to be like no, like Shino would wipe Shikamaru. Like the bug thing is so much better, but yeah. Shikamaru's smarter. This mm. and that, and also Shino would mop the floor with Shikamaru. In, really, in, 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 in OG Naruto, Shino is probably the strongest Genin. Like, yeah, legitimate. He didn't lose. He still hasn't lost. Like I, I listen. He didn't do anything. I think that's, Shino, that's like me doing one wrestling match and then retiring. Oh, and I'm like, did, I'm the best. He did plenty. He did plenty. He did like nothing. If Shino had gone on the Sasuke retrieval arc, they would have got him back. Yeah. I think I, uh, listen, this is a hot take. Shino in a 1v1 against Gara during the tuning exams probably stood the best chance. He could get his bugs into Gara's sand. I guess bugs do burrow into sand. That's, that's like, a good that's counter. Like half of the things that bugs do. Yeah, I think the manga of Naruto has such a horrible, horrible issue with like writing himself into like too high power levels. Yeah. Like, she knows so OP. Like, I do agree. Yeah. Especially because, like, all right, that's like, even, interesting like, about Gara. In the modern day, in the modern day, like, for like Otsutsuki, she knows technically the best person to fight against them because, mm-hmm. like, bugs can't be affected by karma markings, Rinnegans, or Genjutsu. So it's like, she knows the Abarami clan should be yeah. disgustingly broken, completely forgotten. I could, uh, I'm not going to say I could write Naruto better, but I, I, I think I would take more acknowledgement of the universe <laughs> than he currently takes into effect. But yes, right. it's like your your mom or your aunt or your uncle like, or your cousin will be like, oh, I've seen yeah. Naruto. Yeah. And, and because normal people have seen it, there's social acceptance. And it's also like it's a gateway drug. Well, like Nar- way more people smoke weed than like, you know, like rail lines of cocaine. Right. right? Yeah. It's like it's socially accepted. People are like, oh, it's a plant, you know? But I mean, like, I think Naruto has the same appeal as like Harry Potter, where it's like, anyone like harry potter is so big partially because of the houses like you go up to anyone and they will tell you what house they are like almost anybody knows their house what's your house i have no fucking idea how dare you no listen i but i understand where you're coming from (laughs) absolutely i was gonna ask what house do you think i'd be in what's like the douche (laughs) fuck off (laughs) 
Slytherin? No, there's no like you're very there's no like extroverty house. Hufflepuff maybe, but you're not because you're golden retriever esque. Mm-hmm. But you're like you're uh, like you know you want to host shit. You're not like oh yeah how how can I help? You're like oh everyone in my place here's some like tuna tartar. Every single person I've ever asked this question said Gryffindor in a matter of seconds. I guess maybe that's their thing. I don't know enough about Harry Potter honestly. Very fair. But my point is you're a Hufflepuff. I have both ta- you and Sarah biggest Hufflepuff energy of all time. I have taken the tests. I'm Ravenclaw. Okay, Sarah doesn't think so. That's fair. It's it's Hufflepuff with the yeah. like. A, yeah, with, with like in cursive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But so, um, Mother Fluffin. Oh, the Harry Potter thing is so popular because of the houses, in my opinion. Because of that, because of this conversation. Mm. Because so many people get to be like, oh, like, what house are you? Oh, yeah. I'm this other house. And so then, like, that's a conversation of like, I'm this house because of this. You're this house because of this. Yeah. Or you find someone who's your same house and it's like, oh, that's sick. Like now you have a little camaraderie with them. Naruto similar because you have like the hidden leaf village. You have the sand village. You have all these like factions. Yeah. Like, and yeah, everywhere has towns, mm-hmm. but there's no like. No, not even, not really though. Like Bleach doesn't have like a, like, oh, yeah. would you be like a hollow? Like that fucking, oh yeah, I'll yeah. be a ghost. Well, exactly. It's like they have factions like, um, like Demon Slayer doesn't. Like You're either a demon or a Demon Slayer or a dude. No, but it's more like in terms of like, like Demon Slayer almost has it with the breathing styles. Oh, But, but it doesn't fair. do, it'd be smarter if Demon Slayer, they kind of do. They don't do it enough, but like. Avatar does Demon Slayer better. You get born with it. You can't no, train in it. No, I mean, like, I mean, in terms of popularity, like, yeah. Avatar The Last Airbender is huge because it's not just about, like, being born with it. It's about, like, being an Earthbender kind of defines you. Yeah. Personality yeah. wise. Mm-hmm. And, Demon and it's Sl- like, Waterbenders are the most mystical, like, the most connected yeah. to nature. Earthbenders are monks. Like, right. or, or airbenders are monks. Yeah. Earthbenders are, like, city people, they're kind like, of. Yeah, they're, like, city people, but they're also, like, very stubborn mm-hmm. and, like, locked into their ways. And firebenders are Indian and also scary. They're Indian in the movie. Yeah, and I'm like, Shyamalan, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm very happy you got yeah, that reference. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what are you doing, What are you, what are, what are you doing here? <laughs> but no, it's like, my, like, Demon Slayer does kind of do that with, like, when Tanjiro learns to mix the fire and water breathing. It's, like, yeah. a mix of defense and offense. Mm. But, it, like, Demon Slayer would be a little more popular, I think, if it was like, oh, what breathing style are you? Yeah. I'm lightning breathing because that means I'm blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, like, the problem with Demon Slayer is that all of it derives from sun breathing. It's mm-hmm. like every single breathing style derives from sun breathing. So it's like, they're all kind of the same. Exactly. You know, it's like, you have to be big to use stone breathing, but like, you don't, it's like, and you also yeah. have to use certain weapons to use certain like breathing styles, but like, right. it's not, like you, yeah. like it helps to be spacey and like aloof to use mist breathing. But like yeah. a lot of them are also just made by one person. Right. So like if the breathing styles all had like bigger catch all schools yeah. and it was like, oh, this is the water breathing school. And we're all, yeah. you know, tapped into the mysticism and like trying to like fill like like that's exactly. water breathing is yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Like you try and like fill your form like like a water fills a cup or a bowl. Yeah. You but know? it's also just cutting. Yeah. In different ways. Like it is just like, like Naruto. It's more fun for like eighth graders to be like, yeah, I'd be like a shadow style ninja because there's all this. What? Yeah. Like the Nara? Like Shikamaru. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shadow style. I was like, what the fuck is shadow style? You go shadow style. Shadow, yeah, shadow yeah, possession yeah, jutsu. Yeah, you go big old shadow, shadow I'm style. I'm right. Shadow, I'm not the idiot here. I, there's no shadow you style. You go shadow style, shadow possession jutsu. Just shadow possession jutsu. Mm. Just shadow possession I, jutsu. Out of the two of us, Nick, yeah, you who are know. they going to believe? You're the proud. No one's going to fucking believe you, Nick. I feel like this is the Bill Murray made up stories where it's like, no one's going to believe you ate a French fry. I was like, I know this is made up for <laughs> yeah. I know this is, I know this isn't fucking real. But like, yeah, it, it's like it's more fun for Naruto fans to be like, yeah, like I'd be like, I'd be like Rock Lee. Like I'd love to have no fucking, he has chalk. I don't know. Rock Lee's confused. He does have chakra With what he does and doesn't have. Mm-hmm. I picked a bad I'll one. I'll tell you right now. Anyway. He does have chakra. But do you know Just what I mean? Do you yeah. know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. I think that's why Naruto's so big. It's I got guess. that appeal. It's got like merchability. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta have like you have to be able to relate to the story in a sense. And I feel like Dragon Ball also kind of has that because it was like, oh, what would you want to be? I mean, but the thing is like, who wants, Neme- so. who wants to be Namekian? No one. No one. Not wants a to be. damn person. No one wants to be. Everybody <laughs> wants to be Saiyan. Everyone wants to be Saiyan, but it's 
it has a bit of merchability where it's like you want to envision yourself going blonde, mm-hmm. you know, because it's always like that was the fun of seeing a new Saiyan arrive like Trunk shows up and then he his say Super Saiyan version mm-hmm. looks different than Gohan's or Vegeta's. Yeah. And it's like, oh, what, what would I look like if I went Super Saiyan? Not you good. know, I don't have enough hair. That's the thing is like you have to have your hair has to be so incredibly dense. I would yeah. just look like. I like I woke up. I think everyone would look dumb with it. I to think, be fair, no, but. no. I feel like people with like nappy hair would look kind of sick. Yeah, I feel like 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 a like a nappy headed like is like you like because you can actually I follow this one girl on TikTok who has an afro and she forms it into shapes. That's because like mm-hmm. me, it's just like it's gonna look like you rubbed a balloon on my head and yeah. then you like held the balloon above my hair and yeah. I'm just like cool. Like I now look wiry. Right. But, like, if you have like naturally curlier hair or like super thick like Italian locks, I feel like you look pretty good. True. But me, Mister Thinning Hairline, yeah, not gonna happen. You'd look decent. I'd look, I'd look objectively silly. I'd look very <laughs> fucking silly. Uh, okay. Yeah. Outside of that, uh, me and Dorothy started Spy X Family. Again? New season. Got you. How might is it? The, might be the anime of the year. Really? It's just good. Like, I don't think yeah. it's like everyone's, oh, it's overrated. Oh, it's not fun to watch. It's just. Just makes you happy. It just makes you happy. Yeah. And I just, I need more anime like that. Like, I was like, it's so hard for me to show Dorothy anime because, like, she only really likes slice of life stuff. Yeah. Like, it has to be like, oh, you know. <laughs> or suits. Or suits. <laughs> Listen, Dorothy loves Lucifer suits. Uh, she's watching Supernatural now. Yeah. Um, if, if it's just like hot men doing jobs unrealistically yeah. just, that's just yeah. doing jobs the hot men takes. doing jobs unrealistically is dorothy's fucking bag mm-hmm. it's like gray's anatomy suits bull uh she was watching the rookie i don't let her watch copaganda like it, <laughs> yeah, it, it was nice. like a cop show i'm like fuck we're not watching this that's like responsible like not in my house but then she watched <laughs> chicago fire and i was like yeah. we can fuck absolutely it's just funny because like she say we can fuck <laughs> no i was absolutely oh i chicago thought you were like fire. we can fuck all right good you're Listen, done with that show chicago yeah. fire on it's the only yeah. way he works <laughs> but like yeah one time dorothy was like like yeah like i just don't like silly shows like that like we're talking about demon slayer or something yeah. she's like just seems silly to me and i'm like you're watching suits right <laughs> now you <laughs> son of a bitch you're like, watching the least legally yeah, upstanding like, legal show ever made yeah but um spy families fu- i i buy that so good yeah. It's so good. It's just like every episode, it's like sometimes it's split into two. And it's yeah. just like cute little stories of like, oh, Anya's trying to get Stella's. Lloyd's trying to be a good father. It's like yeah. Yor gets shot in the ass in one episode. And she's trying she's to cover just... that up. And they go on like little dates. And it's like, yeah. it has all the aspects of like Lloyd and Yor like like falling in love. And then it has Anya growing up as a little kid. And it just, it's just as good as last season. It's more of the same. Yeah. Like if you liked season one of Spike's Family, holy shit, do I have a surprise for you? Season two is the same goddamn thing. I am just happier when Spy Family is like in the ether. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like the anime community as a whole is happier when it's in the ether. Yeah, like just knowing like when I go to a con, people are going to be like dressing up as like Lloyd and uh, Forger and stuff. I feel like you see those people and you're like, that's probably a person I could have a conversation with safely. Because it's like, it's like, oh, I'm coming to like anime and like sometimes they're parents and like Anya is their child and I'm like, that's a a human I trust, you know? I, I see like somebody walking up in like a, what's the least trustable cosplay? That's a real question. I was going to say Genshin. I don't like any maids. Like just any, period. Just like I anytime someone's like ironically like a maid. I'm like What do you mean ironic? Just like Well, do you want them to actually be fucking cleaning? Like what is she just, <laughs> <laughs> just like you want towels and you're like are you actually working? You're like what's going know, on? Like maids always trip me out. Like for some reason I'm just like it feels like they're doing it like as a bit and I'm always like oh I get it like you'd you know you're like a 38 year old dude dressed as a maid it's so funny like I mean, that is like that is kind of the bit I don't but it's like it's like an overdone bit it's like a walking like knock knock joke I guess to I me. kind of understand where you're coming from what I like is the maid crossovers so it's like I am like Gojo, but as a maid yeah like I'm like it's like Gojo I raps like black and white maid suit yeah that's that's Wig. Like yeah. I love a I love a good maid X something. That's better. That makes I, me happy. It just feels like not enough to me. Like it's like because I know that they're like this is so cynical of me. Mm-hmm. But it's just they're like this is gonna be so fun. Everyone's taking their cosplay so seriously. I'm just a fucking maid, and no one's gonna think I am because I'm a dude. No one's gonna expect it. And it's like I think it's the ripped fucking, maid thing is overdone. Like a huge dude in a maid outfit. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like yeah, yeah just like a huge ripped dude in a maid outfit. It's like. 
I get it. Like, do something, yeah, do something me, crazy. Kiss me. I don't like, you yeah, know, like, it's fine. Yeah, like, like, whatever. Like, like, do something crazy. I don't know. Like, yeah. I see someone walking around a big mech. I'm like, that's sick. Well, there's a big difference in like, oh, like amount. Like, okay, the casual cosplayer puts on a made outfit. I don't but have, you, I don't have fucking 3D printing time. And like, oh yeah, I need to. The way that people <laughs> get into those suits and they have yeah. like their long like sticks that they use to control their limbs. Who's got the fucking time? Okay, but even, like, I more respect someone just, like, doing their hair like David from Edge Runners over, like, an Amazon maid. But do they need the jacket or they just need to shave just, lines in the side get, of their just head? Just look like David. Like, that's not expensive. That's not crazy. Yeah, but it's way more work. Yeah, exactly. The main cosplay is for the cash. That's a dip I dis- cosplay. I disrespect the lack of work. That's the thing. You just gotta, we gotta, we gotta be like, hey man, at least you're cosplaying. It's the lack of work Danny, and lack Danny, of creativity. You went, as, you went as yourself for day three of Anime Expo. It's only so much fucking. You I'm, went as Nuck Tuck two days in a row. That's something that's unique uh, that was made by people my did, girlfriend. People did love it. People took pictures because I was Nuck Tuck. They didn't <laughs> even know who I was. That's also genuinely very mm-hmm. fair. That is always a trip when that happens. People are like, nice cosplay. It's, and you're like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, all right, bye. It's just, it's like the people who are making like Winnie the Pooh horror movies where I'm like, I know you're disingenuous. I know you're not doing you're this. You're doing this ironically. Yeah, like I know you're not doing this because you love Winnie the Pooh. You're doing it because it's like, or even because you want to make a good movie. Mm-hmm. You're doing it because you're like, it's funny. Oh, is, isn't it going to be so silly and crazy mm-hmm. that this Winnie the Pooh horror movie exists? It's like, to subvert the genre. So you're yeah. saying made outfits are to subvert the idea of cosplaying? I'm saying it's not even that smart. <laughs> like, it's just it's just bare minimum effort of a cosplay. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's like it's like too edgy for me. Too edgy? It's like edgy in the a way made that made outfit. I almost wore a made outfit on t- today. It's yeah, it's edgy in the sense that it's like. Like, you know, they're sitting there, like, trying not to laugh the whole time. It's like, fucking, they thought I'd do, like, a character. I'm just a maid. I'm a, I'm a sexy little maid, and I'm a, I'm a ripped dude. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up, that guy. And this, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what gender envy sounds like. <laughs> Danny just wishes he was a ripped dude in a skirt, and honestly... <laughs> Listen, from sitting wow. on this side of the table, life is pretty good over here. <laughs> but yes, I listen, I have no problem with people being in made outfits like whatsoever, but I do love that this is a hill that you're willing to die on. I will. For Fucking, sure. Yeah, listen, listen, you and us versus the maid community. There is one yeah. super ripped Japanese dude, I think, maybe. I don't know this in ethnicity, but like his entire like thing is that I've he, seen him. He we just saw like him. picks up really heavy shit and then he like he's like, Ohio? Oh, Nissan? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you mean we saw him? We saw him. We saw him? Yeah, we saw him at him. the con. Him. Like the actual dude. Yes, the man. Didn't see him. If, I, if he did, it was just like I lost him in the wash of it was like a big dude. We interviewed a ripped maid dude. Remember? That was, oh, full on guy? Misty. Oh yeah, that was one thousand percent Misty. I don't like that either. It's not enough. The fact that you're I big, went as Misty one of the days. But you were hidden, Misty. That's more. How is Misty not enough? It's the fact that he's like, oh, I'm ripped. It'll be funny that I'm just Misty. That is funny. That's not enough for me. How? Okay. So okay, walk me through the process of, <laughs> of, okay, I'm a ripped man. Yeah. What do I wear as a cosplay? Just, do I have to cosplay a ripped man? Just do a regular cosplay. You can be like, it's. It if, is. A Misty is a regular cosplay. But he isn't doing it because he wants to be Misty. He's doing it because he wants to be ripped Misty. I don't want to be any of the people I cosplay as. But it's like, what do you know? Like, you're Togata. It's Toga. not. Toga. You're Toga. There we go. It's not a funny bit that you're a man who's Toga. Like, you're. It's just a cool looking outfit. Okay, so what's the difference between Toga and Misty? It's I. It's his intention. Well, oh, I the, know what he's doing. I'm okay. Listen, first off, I didn't buy this cosplay because I wanted this cosplay. The reason I have all the cosplays in my closet is because we used to do a thing. If we got two hype trains in one stream, I would buy a cosplay that my community like like asked for. Mm. So every that's why ninety percent of my cosplays are women because everybody wanted to see me in a skirt. That so makes you sense. can say that I am in this skirt for the bit As because a, people want to see me in a skirt. But like, if you walk around at a con as Toga. Mm-hmm. My eyes won't roll as much. Okay. <laughs> Why? It's, that's perplexing to me. It's just the intention. I feel like they have bad intentions with it. Because, well, okay, I, I, the only way I'm giving you points here. It feels here, not genuine. The only way I'm giving you points here is because technically Misty is like, it shows a lot of skin. So you can be like, oh, that rip dude just wants to put a cosplay on where they can show as much skin. That's what I mean. Misty just wears a yellow crop top. I love when people, even if the people just come out like as like, 
uh, like a Chainsaw Man character, which is literally just like oh, this, yeah. just a suit and tie. Yeah. Like some in Denji's, not even the blazer, like just a button up tie. Mm-hmm. That's Hockey. it. You have to put your hair up. Yeah, exactly. Even when people do that, I love seeing that and I respect it because I'm like, oh, nice. They just love the character. They're just having fun. I feel like it's like, no, it's what they have in their closet. If, no, it's, it's no, it's I've panicked. I bought no costume for Halloween. What the fuck can but I you're, be? But you're still like doing it out of like, oh, I want to have fun in cosplay. It feels like it feels malicious when people are doing the maid outfits. What was the question? I don't know how we got here. I think I oh, I talked about spy family. I have no idea how we got to your tirade on maids being the problem in the anime community. But fucking apparently they are. I just don't like it. Which I love for it us. It feels malicious. It feels like. I know it's like a joke within the anime community. Mm. It almost feels like I'm being made fun of. You know? Nah. Uh, uh, that's why I hate it, Nick! Is, <laughs> I'm the only one allowed to make puns. But it's like, yeah, it feels not like out of an appreciation for Japanese culture or like anime. anime? It just feels they like love me. this silly dumb bit. They fucking love me. I guess they do. They listen, but even that, I'm like... That was the question, and now you're gonna answer. What was what's a cosplay that you see oh, that, that you're I don't like, trust? Yeah, that's untrustworthy. Holy shit! Yeah, I forgot how we got here. Um, <sighs> if I see a cosplay, honestly, man, I hate to, I hate to, I hate to alienate your your fan. No, it's not Bungo Stray Dogs. It's not. What are you What are you reading? I'm just reading. You decided to be tapped in. Yeah. Oh, man, Genshin, Genshin. I kind of want to say because like I always get too nervous to talk to them because I'm like you put so much time like they have the weapon they have the hair like the, the, the wig is styled I'm like if I get too close to you I might fuck up your cosplay but like of people I don't trust I feel like it would just be people who watch shows that I'm like that's questionable like if it's like a Mashuko Tensei there it is a Mashuko Tensei outfit I'm like I don't fuck with you uh-huh. you're like oh you're Rudeus oh you, you just want to be you just want to be just like him uh-huh. like that's I feel like it's like if you're like cosplayed as like a character from a show that I just straight up don't fuck with yeah that's I'm like I'm keeping you at an arm's length gotcha I don't want to talk to you the Genshin ones, I feel like I'm not part of a really cool person club. Exactly. And that makes me That's so the upset. Thing. It's like they see each other and like, oh, love your cosplay. It's yeah. so cute. I'm like, I know who Tao. Like, yeah. I know <laughs> Dilik. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But so I was like, yeah. Luke. Is it? Is it? I no, think- I'm pretty sure it's Dilik. Dilik? Deluke? You, that's my reaction to Dilik. Deluke? Yeah. Deluke sounds like Dilik? a football player. Dilik sounds like a fucking request you, for a prostitute. If you told me Deluke Forreston is the new wide receiver for the Patriots, I'd fucking believe you. It's a name. Deluke? Yeah. No. Dilik? Sounds like a sexual Pokemon. Where the fuck did I go, Daniel? What are you talking about? Deluke? What's the name? It's Dilik. Hold on. That's the only five star that we know. Apparently, that's that and Hu Tao. So you're He's welcome. He's the redhead, right? Only two. Yes, yeah. Dilik is the is the only two fire types that we know. It's apparently, D I L U C. Dil, Uk, Dilik, Diluk, Diluk. You're saying Dilik. I'm saying Dilik, as in D I L Dil. Yeah, you're, Uk. S- you're saying Dilik. Dilik. Oh, you've gotten in my head. <laughs> no, Diluc. I haven't. Diluk. Wait, no. Wait, what was Moving I saying? Moving on. What was oh I saying? Oh my God, I've never Bugs bunnied someone like that. Dilik. Dilik, I'm back. I'm, I'm back. No, I'm saying it's Dilik. You're saying it's Diluc. No. Yes, no, that's what you no. thought. Yeah, yes. you will not gaslight me. <laughs> we will not have the fucking Modelo effect I, again. I'm telling you, it's Dilik. I'm going to fucking blow my brains out live. I'm because just where, where, does the, where does the U go? The U? Yeah. Dilik? Dilik. Yeah. Yeah. We're in agreement. You were saying Deluke. It is Deluke. Yeah, I'm fucking Deluke Genshin. How to? Pronounce. That's how you. That's how you battle back from the bottoms, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hold on. We... What? How to say? Fuck you. What? It's my podcast, <laughs> too, asshole. Co-host. Hold on. Are we? Are we? I'm... The wealthiest gentleman in Mondstadt. How do you go about pronouncing his name? I know many of you out there say it as Dai Luke, Dai Luke, but it's not Dai Luke, but rather D Luke. D Luke Wait. is how the video game introduces D Luke. Yeah, we're both wrong. What is this video? That's I didn't know they had Reddit accent in different languages. That was a French Reddit accent. <laughs> go where, go where, D is man in all of it. That was wild. D Luke, D Luke. Oh my God, so you're right. 
We were right, we kind were right. of, yeah. We got there together. I had Diluc. I like that we're trusting this man to be correct. <laughs> Fucking who gives a Reddit shit. Reddit AI. Yeah. Regardless, all that matters is that, like, we're not cool enough to know about Genshin, so we get intimidated by Holy them. Holy shit, we have so much to talk about now we that we really have no time. We don't have that much to talk about, um, because JJK's episode was... That was cool. It's good. It was good. It's pretty good. It they, was, they fight Squido. So Dagon. Yeah. So there's a there's Cuddle Boy. I want to bring up a thing about Dagon because Dagon was there's actually it's kind of very interesting that Dagon got brought up right now because there is currently a theory going on in the JJK manga that Yuji might have eaten Dagon. That Yuji might have Dagon's powers. Um, so this oh, yeah. is like so we got leaked official artwork from you know the the mangaka and in like in the leaked official artwork it is a like Yuji has like a red arm and so everyone's color matching Yuji's new arm to Dagon and everyone's right. like oh oh Yuji ate Dagon so now Yuji Weird. has fucking does har- Yuji have Kirby powers so people that's what everyone thinks is that Yuji might have like Yuji's curse technique because we don't know what it is yeah. might literally just be vessel. That's hype. Because, like, so in chapter... But he two, has to eat? That's the thing. So in chapter uh, 238, we see him jumping, and he has, like, he has soup in his hand. Are these spoilers? So not really. So that was a fucking... Like it's like so people think that Yuji's curse technique ability might be vessel. Right. So it's like people are like, oh my god, he fucking ate Dagon or something. Interesting. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, or like a part of Dagon, like he did with Sukuna. Yeah, right. So like I'd be into that. Right? Yeah. So like so that's like, but so Dagon coming out this episode when that got leaked by the mangaka is like a while. Everyone's like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, yeah. And people think that like Gega Katami purposely leaked that image and is coordinating manga releases with the anime episodes coming out, and that might be why they took a six week break. Because I don't know. Well, no, because That's fishy. You know, there's some there's some like actual like good logic behind this. Uh-huh. So one, the six week break happened, and no one was like, why, like, why are we doing this? Gojo gets sealed, and then something in the manga of a of a according value happened, like as it pertains to Gojo. And so, like, simultaneous things hit about Gojo, which led into this massive culmination of people talking about Gojo in, like, to make him, like, the most trending character in the history of anime ever. Now, Dagon is in this battle against, as we now know, Toji, Naobito, Megami, Maki, and um, Nanami. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, so, like, it's, like, revealed at the end of the episode yeah. that Toji is, like, popped yeah. out of the hole that Megami opened up. And... It's a possibility that in this next chapter that comes out, 241, I believe, that we're going to get a reveal as it pertains to Dagon. Yeah, interesting. So, like, there's a possibility that Gekagatami was like, we need to, like, pause for six weeks so we can have coordinating out, like, coordinating things coming out in the manga and the anime to drum up as much hype as possible. Weird. Might that be is crazy. Genius. Yeah, that would be, like, absolute galaxy brain moves Mm -hmm. and you know what? He is a weird galaxy brain kind of dude when it comes to powers and bullshit. Yeah. I could see this being some bullshit. So, how'd you feel about the episode? Good. I have a question. Oh, yeah. Is the next one going to be unbelievably crazy? Because Toji shows up? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Let's go. I would say this episode or the next episode Let's is go. where we start getting a little bit of that Shibuya incident. Sweet. Like, it's like where we start getting Shibuya. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, so, hold on to your ass. Hi. Uh, this is the last episode where your ass is still attached to your body. Basically. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this, sick of this, this, this old this, dumper. This old, this old loaf cutter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't do um, it anymore. I liked it. It was good. The colors are great in Dagon's world. Horizon of Captivating Skanda. Yeah. yeah. Very cool looking. Um, Nanami goes from being the female gaze to the male gaze as he gets his like rom- Rambo ass like kind of look what, with like his eye closed and the blood all over yeah, him or something? Or he's just covered in blood yeah. shredded clothes and yeah. everything he looks like um mads mickelson from i don't know from the mags new- mickelson mads mickelson if you told me that was the name of an exotic pickle i believe you he's a very famous actor mads mickelson he's in death stranding you remember that game death Str- oh 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 a uh, fucking it's a blonde guy not norman reedus not norman reedus no Keep looking it up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nick started to look it up. And then yeah, because I was down. like, oh, Death Stranding. He's a villain in Death Stranding. Oh, uh, Mads. Oh, the fucking Casino Royale. Yeah. How is Death I Stranding what you say? <laughs> Casino Royale. Eye bleeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mads Mickelson. Yeah, he's also in that okay, really yeah. good uh, movie that was like, it won all the like uh, foreign. 
films like and people hunt? like what was it hunt no 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 it was like a, it was like about them drinking it was much like about a bunch of friends drinking they're like we need to make this in english oh i don't know yeah it's i'll i'll it Weird. doesn't matter um some yeah. people know it super doesn't yeah. but yeah it was good he it, does look like mads mickelson yeah, it does. that'd be an incredible <laughs> live casting yeah that'd be great um it was good i really like the frames per second guy now be yeah. be not just because i'm a film idiot mm. It's like fun. It's yeah. like a weird, stupid, like, who would think of this power power? Yeah. I like its trade off where it's like, for anyone who somehow doesn't know for the spoiler Are you cast. About to describe a power? I'm about to describe a power. I'm here so we go. I'm proud of you. It is your so, podcast. <laughs> so here we go. Um, huh. It's, it's kind of like, he, he does it. Well, now I'm nervous. <laughs> you got it. I believe in you. He, um, so essentially, I guess, and you can't correct me because I don't know if I have it fully correct, mm -hmm. but he can like turn a second into 24 parts yes. essentially yeah. like 24 quote unquote frames. FPS. Yeah. yeah he yeah. has FPS. Um, you could turn into 24 frames and then it basically simulates where he would be at the end of that second. And he can like put himself. So, so basically, if I ran from my chair to yours mm -hmm. in the course of a second, and that was split into 24 frames, I could teleport to one of those frames. But I have a 24th of a second to choose one. And if I don't, I freeze. Is that true? Because I feel all the time. Yeah. I, the, the, the overwhelming temptation to like help you explain it is killing me. I bet. But it's really fun to watch. Am I close? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know, good. Like, well, it's hard to explain verbally with yeah. no like visual cues. Okay. So basically, the way that works is yeah. that he breaks down. Yes. A uh, second into twenty four. Like, such a cute. Yeah. <laughs> I like almost want to keep going just to see you do that more. <laughs> yeah. So he breaks down into 24 individual movements. Mm -hmm. So you have to make 24 individual movements in the span of a second. And if he touches you, he, he you're now in his projection sorcery is what it's called. So if you, let's say hypothetically, I Who's, get, clarify like who you is, you know, like you the opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so whenever he activates his projection sorcery, not only does he have to move 24 precise times in a second, he also has to like anybody he touches is now constrained to that 24 that 24 like fps yeah so if you don't make 24 unique movements or like stand entirely still um for you know a, a, like that one second you freeze so you get like put into an animation cell that he can hold and then you're stuck in that animation cell for a second so what he'll do is he'll take that animation cell and then punch you through it yeah so that's that's the way that it works so you have it's to make 24 like, but if you know about it mm -hmm. you can just do it like like it's the element of surprise that makes it you know what I mean? Not it's necessarily, like, though. Well, like, because if you, like, it gives the opponent the opportunity to make the movements or stand still, but they just don't know that that's an option. Yeah. It's like in a fighting game, for example, and tell me if this is correct. Mm -hmm. When you grab an opponent, mm -hmm. you have to press, like, or we'll just say you press RB to grab an opponent or yeah. R1 to grab an opponent. And then if they hit you with that, you get put in, like, a grab animation, does a lot of damage. But your opponent, in the split second where you're getting grabbed, your opponent has the opportunity to also press the grab button, and it's it'll make them let go of you. And you get a certain amount of frames. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Is it that, essentially? No, it's more about speed. It's more about movement. So, like, imagine that you're trying to move somewhere in a second, and mm -hmm. I want to pick up this water bottle, and that takes me one second. Mm -hmm. I have to make 24 individual movements. So I have to be like, all right, I'm going to move this finger and then I'm gonna move this finger, and then I'm gonna move my hand. And like, like you have to think about every single movement you have to make. And if you accidentally make 23 movements, or 25 movements, or 100 movements in that one second on your way, like if like 24 individual frames and you don't hit that exact 24 knot, yeah. then you become an animation still frame. Weird, but is it, I thought it was like a mental thing where you like have to space it out in your mind. like. So the ability doesn't make him fast. He just is. He just is. Yeah. But projection coincidentally. Helps. Yeah. Weird. Because he's able to like cat like one. He's like able to make 24 distinct movements in one second, which is crazy fast for like, because if you see his like his like still frames, it's not like his finger goes from here 
to hear. It's yeah, not just he like, like bend. will go like it's a full spin step. around. Somebody. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like a one hundred and eighty degree turn into full step. Yeah, so it's like because he's able to adhere to those twenty four seconds, and he's able to make you like he's like able like to blitz you, and then get you to move in a way that doesn't feel natural to you. But at the same time, it also means that you, who's been affected by it, have to know exactly where you're going to be a second from now. Because it said you can't break the laws of physics or change your original plan. So let's say hypothetically... Well, but that's why I think... And you're probably right. Yeah. But that's why I think it's mental. I think he maps it out in his head and the opponent maps it out in their head. And if they don't do the equation correctly... Mm -hmm. It punishes them because yeah. right. It's like, you can't break the laws of reality. Why would that even be like, how could you, you know what I mean? Unless it's like, if, if the power is like this, where I'm like, okay, the power asks me, mm. what are your 24 movements? You have one second to come up with it. Yeah. And I like submit my homework. I'm like, I do this. And then it looks at my homework and it's like, nope, this is impossible by the laws of physics. You're getting frozen. Sort of. It's like, so if you're like, okay, my 13th movement is going to be me stopping all of my inertia in place and then moving directly to the left. If you try to do that halfway through your second in that 13th frame, then you get frozen. Gotcha. Interesting. So it's like, you have to, you have to identify each of the 24 movements you're going to make. And if one of those movements doesn't abide by like physics or like inertia, or it's like, you know, like I let myself on fire and I hug him and let us both on fire, like against the laws of physics or like nature, then you get frozen as well. Weird. So it's about moving at a specific speed. And identify and like not having your second of movement interrupted. Because the second that you're like, like, let's say hypothetically on your 14th frame, I punch you in the face and you didn't anticipate that. Now you're off the line of what your 24 frames was going to be and you are frozen. Anyway, I liked it. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. fun. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. He is now missing an arm, which is distressing. He's, and I don't know how long he's going to be around. He's 71. He's kind of important. To the, he's the head of the Zenin clan. Well, don't tell me how long he's going to be around. No, he's, just, he's important to the story. But gotcha. like, he's the head of the Zenin clan. Yeah. So he's, he's like, they say he's the fastest sorcerer outside of Gojo. There's another sorcerer in the Zenin clan who's also very fast. Mm. Um, so he's important. He sticks around. Um, well, like, you know, he'll be in next episode, you know. Uh, and that's okay. all the information I'm going to give you. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, he's a super cool character. Yeah. Did you like Mei Mei's fight? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot it happened. Yeah. She's so like, she, everything involving her mm-hmm. reminds me of the like panels at the, be- like before a one piece manga chapter even begins. What do you mean? Like, like the SBS? Is that what it's called? What's or it no, you're for? talking about, you're talking about the story. When, when you open a one piece manga. <clears throat> you're talking about the cover stories. Yes. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Mm. She is so seemingly irrelevant gotcha. and short. She kind of is. She's just like, we'll do something or just yap for yeah. like 30 minutes mm-hmm. at the beginning of an episode. She is a serious exposition machine. Yeah. When you when she comes up in the manga, especially later on, it's like, okay, we're going to have a long talk about what's going on in this battle right now. Yeah. And we're going to use these sorcerers who have a cursory understanding of what's going on to explain what's happening. Yeah. It, uh, it was cool. It was well animated mm-hmm. and her like, it was fine. She's I thought okay. it was incredibly, I thought it was perfect timing for this being the closest episode to Halloween. Yeah. Cause it I was, felt that too. Yeah. I was like, oh man, this show really is just Halloween Naruto. Isn't yeah. it? Like they trumped up like how spooky that yeah. fight is so hard. Really? I really liked like her being like, you, you like, you, you, will you die for me? And him being like, you, would you give me the honor? And then it's like, him with the crow and all of that. And then like it pans out and you see the feather has covered his face. And I was like, that was a really cool moment. It's very Halloween. Yeah. yeah. So I thought like the direct, I could feel the director in the May May fight. And then once we got to the Dagon fight, I think it was just kind of like, all right, this is a battle. Yeah. You know, I was like, this is a fight. You know, we're going to yeah. get into it. How do you feel about Toji breaking through? Sick. Yeah. Very exciting. Yep. Very cool. I hope, and I'm not going to look at you when I say this either, mm-hmm. because you make faces. Okay. And don't say anything. I will just, I- just tell me when your face is done. Okay. And spoilers, everybody, for the face Nick may make. So if I you, do, I'm so making if, faces. So if you wanna, if you wanna not look, Nick will tell everyone when he's done making a face. Wait, wait. If you're gonna be mad at me, I'll do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Um, I hope Toji kills one of them. One of the people fighting Dagon. Yeah, but I hope it's not the one-armed guy because I won't care. I hope it's like in order of hoping. I hope it's uh, Fushi, Giro, and then the girl, and then Nanami, in that order. All right, I'm done with my faces. (laughs) What is 
I had to stop. No. Uh, oh my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Danny, help. No, okay, we're good. Um, okay. I take my eyes down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I cut off my own arm while yeah. you were gone. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to okay. react. So you, oh, first off, say Megami's last name again for me one time. Fushigiro? Fushigiro? There we go. That's better. The fucking Fushiguro. not worth Fushiguro. bullying me over. Absolutely. It. Hardly. Because somebody else is in the comments is going to do it. And then listen, I got ahead of it. So now their comments are unoriginal and they can't hurt you anymore. I am literally the soldier mean and you know, all the knives yeah, and grenades yeah, yeah. and you're the sleeping child. <laughs> it's so funny. The difference in like the expectations of our fan bases, mm. because I have reacted to every single, like all 50 or 60 episodes of Boongo Stray Dogs. Mm. I have never once consistently pronounced the name correctly. Gotcha. Every other episode, it's Boongo. Every other other episode, it's Bungo. They know. Which one is it? Don't know. Um, now, but you I, usually, you usually say same, Boongo? Same with, same with Isagi or Isagi. Isagi. I don't know. It's got to be Isagi. No idea. Isagi? Isagi. I hate that. <laughs> it's Occam's razor of names. Yeah. What's ever like less aggressive and awful is probably. Probably. Isagi. Isagi? Yeah. It's so much emphasis on the A. It's just easier to say fast. Isagi is yeah. easier? Isagi. Isagi like stops you in your tracks. Isagi. Like if I'm doing a bit. Isagi. No, you're in right. in the middle of a sentence. And you're I'm like, percent right. oh, nice going Isagi. Like stops me. But nice going, Isagi. N nice going, Isagi. What are you doing? Blah blah blah. Fucking you know. Absolutely swayed me on this. You one know? You're one thousand percent <laughs> yeah. right. This has also been the name podcast. Yeah. This is just you I and know. me revealing to our entire like fan base that we have no fucking idea what we're doing half of the time. Do you like the peek behind the curtain of like the mechanics of my content where mm. I have to tailor characters' names by like how fast joke you can say delivery? Them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, oh, how do you say Shikatsum Yaku in a Japanese accent? Mm. And there's everyone's like, it's Shikatsum. Yaku, you dumb fuck. And I'm like, I'm sorry. You it's a 13 letter Japanese word. <laughs> you have the JJK manga's name so down. It's yeah, so yeah, Tommy. It's so impressive when you just whip that shit out mm. mid sentence. May not even be right, but <laughs> I refuse for it to be GG. GG. It's G E G E. G G G G G G G G it's gotta be Gegekotami. It ha like it literally has to be. Sounds like a baby choking to death. GG, I'll blow my brains out. Yeah. Like that's that's the end. That's my 13th reason. Uh, <laughs> but all in all, uh GGK, fun episode. Yeah, very fun. What I do you think of Dagon's um is that his name? Dagon. 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 Yeah. I'm stuck on Deluke. Deluke? <laughs> yeah. Dagon? Dagon. Like, Diagon uh, like Alley. Dicon at radishes. Sure. Yeah. Dagon. Okay, yeah, Dagon Alley would have been better. Um what do you think of his dumb little, and what do you think of anyone's dumb little hip wings? Hip, hip wings is silly. But I hate also, hip wings. No, 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 no. Silly, but when it's on a lady, very attractive. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Ooh, listen, <laughs> listen something, Ooh something about a woman with wings is, it's just um, uh -huh. very good. It's very good. <laughs> I also love, I love a succubus tail, and those usually come out from that area, you know? So, so like, if you have like the angel, I'm with you with the succubus tail. Mm -hmm. I love it. Listen, listen, I'm not a furry, but I love a good tail. All right. Uh -huh. listen, I, I, I'm a big Fair. fan of it. Um, wings out of the, out of, out of like the lumbar, out of that lower, yeah. that lower back area on a lady. Very sexy to me. I on a, on a flying fish. <laughs> yeah. Objectively silly. Silly. Yeah. It's a weird throwback to like a, like an Ultraman looking villain. I guess. Like, like a, like a Cayman rider. Common Rider. Common Rider. Yeah. Oh God, we're Cayman, fucked. A we're Cayman, fucked. A Cayman Rider is a whole different. It's a whole different thing. Yeah. We're Just fucked. Just like wrangling alligators, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> um, You're like, they have how many seasons of this? Yeah, like, it's like just river monsters. Yeah, like literally, you know, or just like the guy who used to, oh, Steve Irwin. Yeah. The guy who used to literally re like wrestle alligators. Um. Yeah, the crocodile hunter. There we go. Hunt crocodiles, you got it. Not also, wrestle alligators. you know what's super weird? Ultraman, the biggest thing in China. Huge. And like they love it everywhere in China. Yeah. I don't. I don't even know how it happened. I don't I was know. Like, I was like, I haven't seen an episode of Ultraman. I don't even know who it's for. I don't know <laughs> like, what, what it age is. demographic. Huh? It's just big Power Ranger. Is that it? I think right. He's just a big guy in a suit fights monsters. Uh, the whole I forget what it's called. Uh, that genre that Power Rangers common Super Ride. Sentai. There we go. Yeah. Never, never caught me whatsoever. Oh, I watched a lot of Power Rangers. I watched like some Power Rangers. That entire genre just kind of eludes me. Yeah, it's kind of just like it's kind of like cringe. It's oh yeah. Weird. Oh for sure. It's, like it's low strange. quality. Yeah. It's 
it's cheap. Like, it's just uh, weird. Their pyrotechnic budget is crazy. Yeah. Everything's exploding. Yeah, I mean, but then when it's live action, you kind of have to do that, but it just yeah. kind of seems like a dance. Like, it seems like a, like a well choreo, like choreographed dance, and I'm like, this isn't fun. Like, I can, it's like, here's the thing. It's video, like, it's like, it's on demand WWE is what it is you know because yeah. you know they're gonna like win straight to vhs you yeah. know it's yeah you know it's planned you know it's rigged for the fucking people with helmets on that's everything well of course that's like, literally everything yeah, but they're like, oh is naruto gonna lose but listen if like in wwe they were actually like i watched a motherfucker get knocked out yeah. every night like that's like that's why ufc is more interesting to me than wwe because like i'm like that dude's bleeding and i know it's not because he just sliced his forehead but like with like common rider and power rangers they're like uh but no, Wah! but there's and, no illusion that it's real. Nobody thinks Power Rangers is real. I, that's what I want. I want the illusion, Daniel. I need to, listen. It's like it's like you with the the separation the from reality. Thing? Yeah, exactly. Why? Because it's live action. Is yeah. that the thing? Yeah, well, the thing is, there's convincing live action. Right. There's convincing fights in live action, but in like Power Rangers, it's like they do like the, the like they put both their hands up. And I can. Yeah, this I have very little mobility in this, but like it's like they like block a sword with like their yeah. hands up. Like, Ah, uh, and it's like, I just, I can't, like, I, yeah. it loses me. Yeah, I feel that. That Look, I'm not going to sit here and tell someone they should like the Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. That's just simply not my fight to wage. But the thing, I feel like they did the most recent Power Rangers movie, got a lot of hate. I feel like it was kind of good. Hey, guess what? What? It ruled. It was pretty good. I love that fucking movie. It was pretty good. And I hate the fans for not liking it enough. It was. There, there are a few things that I am fucking like, there are a few fan bases that I hate and I will like go to war against for ruining mm. their own franchise. A good thing, yeah. Like Halo, no one will agree with this opinion. No one wants to hear this. Halo 4's direction, it's not the most fun Halo game. Okay. Gameplay wise, it's like not great. Is that the one with the orange guns? Yes. Okay. Like gameplay wise, it's too Call of Duty. Like direction wise, story, graphics, like tone, mwah. Awesome, beautiful. Too many people got pissed about it. Too many people got pissed about Cortana dying. Ruined Halo Five. Franchise is dead now. You know, you know what it is. What? It's just people got older and they were like, "I like Halo too." Yeah, because you were thirteen when it came out. Mm -hmm. Like it was like, "Oh yeah," because you could like drink a liter of Mountain Dew and play it all goddamn yeah. night. That's why you like Halo Two more. Yeah. But it, then like you're you're twenty and you're like, "Holy shit, life has consequences." Yeah. Halo Four is out. Let's direct our energy at that. Yeah, it's like that. It's the Power Rangers movie. Mm -hmm. I'm mad we'll never get a sequel because yeah. it really is good. You know what it is for me? The GI Joe movies. <laughs> the G.I. Joe movies were like kind of fun. Yeah. They were, it was like Channing Tatum as a fucking G.I. Joe. And I was like, this is kind of sick. And it was like the predation to things like Iron Man and all of that. And everyone was like, these are garbage. And yeah. I was like, dude, what are we getting from G.I. Joe right now? Like, we should be <laughs> fucking happy we're getting this at all. Mm. Okay. Uh, moving directly on. Uh, Shangri-La. We, we almost had such a great segue into our game too. What? We were talking about monster parts on women. Do you just want to skip on Dead Unluck and just do our game? It's too late now because I brought up. Let, well, let's go through it fast because honestly, both Man. are not that good. Yeah. Yeah, it was that's fine. a bummer. Okay. Uh, Shangri La Frontier, having a whole ecosystem of trash gamers is so anime and I love it. That is all that's all of the notes I have. I know. I like that there's like a fighting game that is just like inhabiting mm -hmm. trash game lovers. Which is. I feel like that kind of exists. That's like kind of like Jump Force to a certain degree where it's like, oh yeah, like I just know all the text to get like infinite combos here. Yeah. Like all of the like anime games that come out that are like kind of like the only anime games that like get kept up with are the ones where they like make sure there isn't infinite. So it's like the Demon Slayer fighting game and then like Storm 4 are really the only like, and I guess like- Guilty Gear. Guilt, it's not anime. What anime is it? I'm talking about like People based off like, anime. Yeah, yeah. Like Z Fighters. JJK coming out. JJK is coming yeah. out. You mean Storm 5. Yeah. Um, well, I guess the, the new, My Hero one. The, uh, the, the Rumble, Rumble. The one yeah. one, yeah. But like, so like that was like kind of interesting. It's kind of funny. I just like, they know a lot about video games and you can tell. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, that was like a very funny premise. It was like, oh, like there's a hundred people on the server. Why the fuck do they still have the server like yeah. going? And then it's like, it's like uh, Valley Toto which is like Portuguese for like, oh, it's yeah, like yeah, Portuguese yeah. for any, like you can do anything. It's just yeah. like a glitch fight, which is funny outside of that. It was fine. It was it's fine. It's uh, this is a slow anime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so little happens. Yeah. He got another debuff, which is funny. Yeah. Now he gets half the XP. But as the two average and a half person. times to his stats. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of funny. It was. It yeah. Was, it's nothing's happening. It was cool. Yeah. It was fine. It's okay. It was fine. Uh, uh, undead unluck. I think the reason, so you got in some trouble over this show, A. 
Did I? Because everyone was like, oh, you think JJK is pervy, but you like uh, Undead Unluck? Uh, um, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. In their defense, this episode's too pervy. You think <laughs> it's, so? It's getting there. It's getting like annoying with it. Uh, here's the thing. Sloppily large tits. I'm, 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 I'm going to come out and say Sarah it. Sarah said the same thing. Like, But like, here's the thing. At the same time, though, this is going to be controversial. Somewhat realistic. Because People the thing. have big boobs. Here's the thing. Everybody knows that 5'2 woman with like double Ds. And yeah. you're like, they look disproportionately large on you. Yeah. And you're like, I don't get how you live this life just carrying those girls around. At least she's like a little thicker. Mm-hmm. Like it's not... Like, I don't know. It makes sense. She's not like Nami. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, like, like I feel like she is like, not like realistic by any yeah. means, but like she could happen anatomically. Yeah. You know, like that could, that's a possibility. Yeah. But it's just like this episode, I was like, oh, we're still like talking about fucking and this and that and whatever. <clears throat> it's like this one was too horny. Think so. And also like. I thought it was kind of funny. I, you know, first off, I loved the five point landing thing. I loved that the, was sick. That I was so funny. Balls of my feet, yeah. uh, side of my leg, but <laughs> they're all breaking. And then he's like, he like shoots her up in the air and he's like, <laughs> suck it. And he's like, I'm pretty sure yeah. I say success at the end. She's like, I'm pretty sure I heard you say suck it. And I was going to yeah. say, I think this is the best representation of an undead I've seen in fiction because like one, like after like ever, like obviously it still hurts. Like everything still hurts, but like, at a certain point, like pain would become such a non-factor yeah. to you, and you would just be like, "I don't want to do it." Yeah. And like you look, you can see he's winded after the five-point landing, but like I, they use the fact that he's able to like break his bones and cut off his arms to such comedic effects that I kind of love it. I like him like using his arm as a sheath for the sword. Yeah. Like, yeah, that bit, the five-point landing, like had me laughing out loud. Very it was funny. So funny. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love he throws up and he's like, "Suck it!" And yeah. then, <laughs> she's like, "Do you just say suck it?" Mm. And he's like, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> fully said success he's uh, just great he's so fun i the the girl they introduced hats way too large <laughs> big hat big old hat uh, i wrote i wrote uh this little anime girl uh is so not russian yeah <laughs> like just the most sailor moon looking ass anime girl and she's like whoa you're japanese mm-hmm. like bitch what are, are you, you first off yeah you have pink hair and a fang yeah but this is that people do not look like this in russia it was I funny because the, the people that she bumped into did look very russian i was like okay so we do know what russian people look yeah. like yeah did you notice there's a weird thing about this world a weird quirk that was introduced no no what, what is it that the people from certain countries speak the language of their country that's fun okay that's good yeah uh there's no stars yeah, what the fuck was At that all? about? Like, in no one knows what stars are. Yeah, she was like, oh, the only things in space are the sun and the moon. Yeah. And, and she was so blown away by the concept that you drew stars next to it. Yeah. There's no stars. What a weird, what a weird thing to do. Maybe every That's anomaly. That's gotta be something. Maybe, yeah, maybe every anomaly is like a, like a star that fell to Earth. And That's now what I'm, I was saying that too. Yeah, like all the people who have powers are like fallen the, stars. The gators. No. <laughs> still Did, won't try disagree. it. Disagree. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> still, <laughs> still not going for yeah. it. Yeah. We just got to learn how to say it in Japanese, and we'll go for that. Yeah. That'll Watch be- it be worse. Watch it just <laughs> be like... Just the N word. Yeah, yeah. It turns out this show's just crazy racist. Yeah, they're like, I'm, I'm starting to wonder why all of the characters were white. Yeah. So, yeah, both were fine. Uh, now me and Danny are going to get to our game. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Would you so like to me and Danny, uh, since it's the Halloween special, me and Danny wanted to curate our game and our draft today uh, to a more Halloween vibe. So me and Danny and, well, I guess more more stank than anything, stank you, is curated. You, I'm sorry. Please continue. Don't you mean our goom? Uh, this is why I stopped. <laughs> And I really shouldn't have let you back in. And I'm really upset that I did. So me and Danny have curated a uh, monster mash is what we're calling it. Yeah. Uh, A graveyard smash, if you will. A little graveyard smash where we're looking at monsters from anime and we're telling you whether or not we would fuck them. Here's what we'll do. Mm -hmm. If we'd fuck them, smash. If we wouldn't, graveyard. So smash or graveyard? Yeah. It doesn't really roll off the top. Graveyard or smash? How about smash or mash? At mashes and we kill them, okay. smashes and we fuck them. All right, we'll do a smash or mash. Smash or mash. Yeah. So, um, what? oh my God, there's a lot more right now than there were. But these ones. I mean, it's not that many more. It's like 20 in This total feels now. like a good amount. I'm actually very happy with, I'm happy where the stank is gone here. Okay, then we'll be a little faster. Because the other five are going to be lead to question. Are we in a rush here? Okay, go on. Are we in a rush? Okay, uh, so the first one that we have here is going to be the One Punch Man Mosquito Girl. 
Uh, her name is just Mosquito Girl. Uh, she actually has a second form that appears in the manga. She's actually become less Mosquito and more girl now. Hey, nobody cares, Nick. Mm -hmm. Would we bang or not? Uh, yeah, if you're a monster girl, I'm fucking like smash. Absolutely. This is the easiest answer Gu ever. Guess what? I don't think you would. I'm going to call your bluff. You know why? Why? You don't like being clawed in bed. This girl doesn't have hands. She is literally it's just hooks. She is all tendrils. Also, guess what? I like being scratched and clawed, not by a goddamn mosquito. How I'm much willing. You Listen, it doesn't matter how many mosquito bites I end up with. I'd still smash. Thousand percent. She can take as much of my blood as I want, as she wants. I, I will. I will absolutely look at her figure. I think this is going to be my first mash because I would rather die than have sex and end up with a bunch of fucking mosquito bites. I would. And I want the bites, Nick. I would take mosquito bites on the shaft of my penis to have sex with this woman. Absolutely. No chance. Thousand percent. No chance. Thousand percent. The implications of mosquito bites on your penis. Mm -hmm. Horrific. Horrific. Scarier than anything I've ever heard. Do you know how Halloween many times Eve? I've had to deal with horrifying realities after I've came? All right? like, like, dude, no, I don't, Nick. Uh, thousands of times. All right. Like, and just like every single time I come, I'm like, what are we doing? Wow. All right. You're smash. I'm mash. Yeah, absolutely. Up next, your big furry dog boy. So next up, we have Sajin Kumamura from Bleach, uh, uh, who is the captain of, I believe, Squad 5. Uh, fully just a furry. Just a big dog. Fully just like, uh, I think he's a wolf. Not yeah. a bad looking wolf though. You should see him in his human form. I don't think, yeah, that's what you say. I yeah. think the dog is more attractive than the human. Him. Oh, well, I remember we had a long yeah, conversation about this. Yeah. But you know what? I don't think I want to kiss a dog mouth. I think that's where I draw the line in terms of animal amalgamations. <sighs> This is kind of like, would you fuck the bear in Baldur's Gate 3? It's like, yeah. but the thing is, there's like, you start with Halson. Yeah. So you're like, Halson's like, oh no, I turn into this bear. And you're like, all right, I'll do it anyways. Because I know under all that is Halson. Right. And I understand under all this, we have an attractive man. Imagine kissing a dog mouth. Though. Awful. Not even, not even just like the grossness of it, but just the logistics. They don't yeah. have the lips that we do. It's all fucking teeth. Mm -hmm. It's all snout. And he's got a, you know he's got a red rocket. I have, oh. two, I have two male dogs. You, oh. know he's, you know he's got a red rocket. Instant mash. You're yeah. right. You've I'm, absolutely sold me against this. I'm also I'm also going to say uh, mash here. Next yeah. up, though, interestingly. What's up with Hanami? We have Hanami. What is this thing? Because here's the thing. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'd smash. I like the idea of having, of having some handles. You, you know, know? What? And, and it, the, that idea never would have entered our brain if Gojo, if Gojo had it. All right, first off, the voice actor was, especially in English, was like, oh, so this is where you're weak. Like, it was like, it was like literally like every woman was like, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, it was like, it was scary. Yeah. Um, it was very similar to Hanami or Nanami, like, you know, grabbing that guy by his ponytail. I fucking. I think I'd have to. With the What's, horns? The horns come from the eyes. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing about Nanami. Uh, technically, I, I guess, I feel like Nanami is, is woman-coded. Yeah. Uh, definitely, like, built like a man. Yeah, definitely pecs. Probably the biggest goddamn schlong you've ever seen in your life. I don't see. That's where, that's where we disagree. <laughs> what are you I talking feel like, about? I feel like Look at this thing. I feel like Hanami's packing that, like, nature-russy. Like a big old, <laughs> like a nature pussy. Because Hanami is, she, she is an earth curse spirit. Right. If it's like if it's like a little rose that becomes a vagina, that'd be that'd be poetically hot. I could see that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hanami's absolute smash. So yeah. we're green smash. Yeah, okay. Smash. Uh, next up, we have uh, Monaco from Monster Masume. I don't know. I I've seen Monster Masume, but only the first, I believe, twelve episodes. This is just a Cyclops woman. This thing sucks. Let me tell you why. It's just a Cyclops woman. What big ass eye? Super unattractive. Super on a dragon. You wouldn't fuck Leah for our Le uh, Le Leela. 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 You Leela. You wouldn't fuck Leela? I wouldn't fuck a goddamn thing on Earth with only one eye. Leela one, was like borderline, borderline sexual awakening for me. One big eye. This is too I'm much. I'm not stoked on it. You might as well it. bang a scuba diver. I listen. I'm not. I'm not stoked. Le I'm not, listen. Uh, right now, I'm telling you, it's not where I'm looking. Uh huh. But this is an attractive woman. Okay. Hands are too big. What do you mean? You tell me you're gonna feel confident with these fucking clompers of yeah, hands. Yeah, she does have some fucking <laughs> mitts. Chance. She's got some mitts. She can fit her entire skull in one hand. I genuinely fair. Listen, he would look small in there. Uh huh. I got I got enough. 
I think I'm holding firm, and it's only because I know we're going to have a smash next one. Okay, so mash. You're mashing, yeah. I'm smashing. Yeah, See, big mash. My biggest fear with this game is that I there's very few things I wouldn't stick my dick in. I thought I wouldn't, mm-hmm. and then I was like really feeling myself with the mosquito stance mm-hmm. I took. Oh, so here we are. All right, next up, we have a recent addition to the Monster yeah. Woman universe, uh, and oh my God, it was it was a more niche response because less people watched Castlevania than JJK. Yeah. Uh, but Drolta... Uh, from Castlevania Nocturne. Sma- the easiest, it's yeah. so... If you're not smashing this person, you're asexual. Yeah. That is the only this reason. This is bisexual, like, yeah. envy. Like, this is this is a woman that, regardless of where on the sexuality yeah. spectrum, you exist. She's if, a- if you're a full-on gay man, you'd fuck this woman. Absolutely. Uh, she's got wings, which you're into. Yep, yeah, they come from an appropriate place. Yeah, a good, reasonable Christian place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like any lower on the back, cover those up. Mm-hmm. But this is, yeah, you're right. Very like in value, like in like connection with my values. Both Drolta, like see, Drolta does this thing in Nocturne where, uh, so she's a black woman, but she tucks back. Like I think she like naturally has like not an afro, but it's like it's like a, like a more natural hairstyle. She tucks it back. And turns it into flame like that, uh, like the character from that mermaid fucking, no, not from Hercules, from the, the back uh, guy from Hercules. Oh, who, who, like Hades? Yeah, Hades yeah. like tucks his hair back into fire. She does that exact thing, but it turns her hair into pink flame. Right. Hot. Huh. Super, like there's nothing not hot about this character. We're wasting our time even debating it. I would be both on the receiving end and the giving end. Yeah. Either oh, or. I, I like wouldn't even feel like, I, I wouldn't even feel like, I deserve to be on the receiving end. Yeah. Like, just unbelievable dom energy. So there is a character in, in like, Castlevania OG yeah. who is, like, he's a um, he's one of the, the night forgers or something like that, and he starts dating one of the... He starts dating one... There's, like, these vampire sisters. Yeah. And the cute, kind of, like, like tame one kind of just treats him like a boy toy. Uh-huh. And I'm like, ideal. That's my yeah. ideal yeah, situation. Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, all right, next up, we got Lala... For, or Layla? Lala, I guess. Lala. I, don't, I haven't seen... She also didn't appear in my Monster Masume From Monster watch. Masume. Yeah. Headless girl? Yeah. Supposed to be the headless horseman. Um, yeah, absolutely. fucking why wouldn't you? See, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing Can about, the head go back on? I, I could ass, I would assume. I would or... Assume, super glue. Or... Here's the thing. Do you not want it back? Well, that's, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah. Portable. 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 Whenever, <laughs> whenever you need. Whenever. Wow. Nick uses women. I, I'm assuming this is a consensual situation. Consensual, consensual portability. I'm not just ripping her head from her and being like, ah, ah, like you fucking uh-huh. don't bite down. Like yeah. that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just like, hey babe, I'm gonna take you to work. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put you under the table. You know, something like that. You know, I'm gonna take you to work. Yeah, the fucking who knows? Wow, she has things to do, Nick. I, she, she can get done with her body. She'll wow. figure it out. I Here, like. Listen, yeah, there's definitely possibilities where like. The head's doing what heads do, mm. and then you got, like, a body from behind you. Yep. You might as well have two women. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's basically a built-in three-way. I also have this thing where I'm like, it'd be kind of fun to have her watch me <laughs> give me fuck the body, right? No, but— Third-person perspective on it? I, I think I, no, I would enjoy No, but go it. off. Go off, King. I would enjoy it. Yeah? I would enjoy it. I'd be like, hey, you like what I'm doing over here? You want to get— Cucked by your own girlfriend. No, it's more of like, I want you to see how good of a job I'm doing. Right. You know, okay, it's like, right, I, it's right. like, I want you to like, hey, yeah. not many people get this perspective. Look at me. I'm fucking killing that. it over here. Yeah, I got you. Uh, so we're, we're both sure. smashing. Yeah, uh, I think this is going to be another agreement here. Mash. Mash? You fuck. You fuck Frieza? Per- you fuck perfect form Frieza? Perfect form Frieza's probably one of two forms I would fuck a Frieza. Please continue, Second form. This is the easiest mash on this list for Second me. form Frieza. Second form, the bigger, the yeah. bigger version? Tall, great yeah. horns. I, also horns. Broad. Some about horns with you. Tail. Too thick. Too thick? Too thick of a tail. You're I like, nuts. I like a thin tail. You're crazy. I prefer a thinner tail. You've gone mad with power. This I, podcast has corrupted you. I also like, it's just, I don't know. He's, he's got too, good, good. He's too round. He's round, for also, sure. And I know for a fact I'd see my reflection in his forehead, and that would not do. That would not go well for me. <laughs> just a big. It's just bucket. me sweating, and I know I'd be fogging up the top of his forehead or the or the back of his head. Here's my concern: he's got no genitals, and but two massive holes Where <laughs> in is either massive? head, in either side of his head, in either side of his head. Hmm? He's got a hole in the back of his head. A big. Oh, holes on, on the his sides, ears. Yeah, his on the ear side. holes. Yeah. Ugh. 
Listen, I'm not saying I would. I'm mm. just saying my only concern is that he has freak. no genitals. He's handsome. He's ripped. He's confident. He's funny. He's racist. Well, well wildly racist. Well, also what? a murderer. Okay, and the last that being girl said, was that a being fucking said. grim reaper and yeah, a vampire. I was, say, I was gonna say we shouldn't be scaling on yeah, morals by here. Morals. Yeah, no. So you're smashing. Perfect yeah. form freeze. Yeah, perfect form freeze is a comfortable smash. I, I wouldn't bang first form because he looks like a child. I wouldn't bang third form because he's just a xenomorph. Okay, here's here's fair. Yeah. You know what's weird? Yeah. I think I'd fuck gold Frieza. No chance. I think I'd fuck no gold. Chance. I think I would fuck I'd, something about like gold. Something about like, oh yeah, I fucked a fully gold dude. I'm all natural. I would go for that. I'm all natural, baby. I love that for you. This Female. next one's gonna be interesting. Would love to see. Logistically, are we assuming that we are as large? The next one is the female Titan from AOT. Are we assuming we're as large as her? Are we assuming we're like Aaron's Titan shafter form? Are we? Or you know what? Us? Interestingly enough, if we're the same size, no. it's closer to a mash. Explain. If I'm, do you want to get used? Like, but like she just grabs you and uses I your legs. Imagine, imagine. You know how hyped people get. When they're about to like climb Kilimanjaro, I think I actually, uh, I think I actually might have just sold myself on this. But continue. Imagine, imagine me just like coming to your place. I'm like, yo, we got to do the pod. Like, we're doing it a day early. I got, I got a trip I'm making tomorrow. Yeah, we do the pod, and then you see me with my big like hiker's pack. Yeah, you're. I got my trail pack. mix. Yeah, yeah. I got my trail mix. I got my like climbing chalk. Mm -hmm. Whole next day, I'm just scaling. I mean, she's only like, she's only like uh, fifty feet tall. I'm not a good climber. <laughs> just, just feel like you can just like, like and sink your fingers look, into some flesh. I'm a bad climber and a passionate lover. Okay. It's going to take a while. It is going to take a while. Here's the thing, though. She has no skin. She's a mash. <laughs> she has no... Okay, so you're mashing. Yeah. I think I'm smashing. I think she's ugly. I know I am, but there's something... <laughs> I, know I, am. Here's it, I love a giant woman. Well, that's what I'm saying. I do, too. You weren't on my side. I agree if I'm her size, I'm mashing. Then she's not a giant... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. If, I, if I'm her size, I'm mashing because yeah, yeah. Yeah, no skin... If I'm not her size, I'm smashing. And Grab me by the waist and just use my legs. Use your legs yeah. for copulation. You... Listen, I'll hold my knees straight and I'll point my toes. And you just you just fucking <laughs> use Who, my lower body. Who's this for? Oh, who's, both of us. In, I guess. I'd I be guess. into it. She, I fucking, I hope <laughs> she would. I'd wash my feet. Kicking the clit. <laughs> yeah. No, no, full Dude. penetration. That's why she can't use the Your top half. Your whole bottom she, half? That's why she can't use the top half. I, I fucking drown. <laughs> I drown. <laughs> I gotta disagree. <laughs> okay, yeah. Listen, <laughs> Call completely me crazy. logical answer. Yeah. Um, here's, Annie is, does have like a sexy personality though. Oh yeah. So, you still love a, You love a, you love a mean woman. Yeah, she's real mean and cold. My notes from the, uh, from Undead Unlock, I was like, this is Danny's type to a T, except that she's not mean. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that is like, if that woman was just like occasionally like, yeah, fuck you, Andy. Oh my God. You would be, you would be your number one show of all time. Yeah, for sure. All right, Next this, one. This one's topical. Yeah. Dagon's perfect form from JJK. Yeah. Uh, no. No? It's a fish. I'm not being any fish creature. I did romance the mind flayer though. You're insane. I fucking, I wanted to see, I want to see what his penis looked like. I, they didn't show me. No. They didn't show, they don't show you his cock. Boo. Yeah, right, that's what I'm saying. Boo. That's what I'm saying. Cowards. I know. Look, I get it. I get the mouth. Like what that mouth what do, do you, for what real. Do you, what do you mean you get? That's the worst part for me. The worst part. Is what the is the is, best is, part is the of this thing? the tentacle I don't know. Yeah. He's got big arms. Ladies, has this ever happened to you? You're with a man, and he just doesn't have a tentacle mouth. <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, check for, out Dagon. For a woman, a tentacle mouth. And massive, a guy. Massive plus. I uh, well, actually, yeah. Now that we're now that we're talking about it, I know. That's the best part. What's the best part about Dagon? Uh, the arms. He's got big arms. He's a big fucking lobster. He's another. Man. Ge he's another genderless one, though. He's got no. He's got no, no genitals. genitals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hate his hip wings. I he's hate, kind of wide in the center there too, for no real reason. Yeah, it's like bang, he's got this big diaper. It's like bang. A he does lobster. kind of have a diaper. All right, I'm gonna mash. Yeah, big um, mash. Next up, <laughs> fucking this one's deep. Uh, Miggy from Paradise from Parasite would become your hand. There is technically a scene in Parasite. Oh, I know. Where Miggy is like, "Do you want me to jerk you off?" And, and then he does. And I'd go for it. 
No chance. Thousand percent would go for it. Chance. First off, it's a mouth on your hand. That's best case scenario. I get it. I'd rather be like Datera though. Which there's a very funny thing from the uh, Naruto abridged where it's like the entire Akatsuki coming together and they're like, stop talking about the tailed beast. Datera. Is it gay if you suck dick with your hand <laughs> mouths? And, and they're like, we're not asking the right question. Yeah. Um, so absolutely. If, thousand percent. I don't like that it like. Imagine you have a blowjob in your palm. First off, best fucking case scenario. Look at this thing. Yeah, don't close your eyes. But I know it's the it's the always sunny bit. It's the always sunny bit where it's like um, Frank is like, oh yeah, there's a there's a glory hole in the men's room. You just uh-huh. close your eyes and pretend it's a man. And and then yeah, I think hey, Frank. Newsflash: I don't like glory holes either. Well, that's a but you. It's the illusion. Uh huh. Absolutely the illusion. You just get there'd be a little imagination. Be like, oh yeah, at any point this thing that I have my penis in its mouth of could turn into a blade. That's an issue naturally. Yeah, for sure. I don't like that it's got like eyes that close to my dick. Mm. I mean, I know. I understand now. It's only it's only like three inches away to begin with. Usually, I, I just fucking hate this thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like it might as well bang like a soft serve ice cream machine. Look, Look at it. A it's so soft goopy. serve ice cream. It is goopy. Yeah. It's so goopy. So you're mashing, I'm smashing? I have to mash it. Okay. I feel like we're going to agree on this one. Future Devil. Do we agree? A thousand percent smash. Smash! Full on smash on the Future Devil. Why is he handsome? I, it, it, like, right? <laughs> Why is he sexy? I think it's because, one, once again, arms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's got a Dorito torso. Yeah, good figure. Yeah, like, straight up great figure. Horns. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then there's he's like the- soft. It's like fur. Soft horns? Fur-coated. Oh, no, he's soft. Yeah. And then the, something about a, a big old hole in the center. Yeah, I don't love that his eye is there. Also, he is just a big vagina, though, kind for of sure. a good personality as well. Yeah, he's fun. He's, he's fun. like, likable. He's charismatic. Yeah, I mean, sure, like, he gives Aki, like, his future devil abilities because he's like, oh, your future's hilarious. I yeah. want to watch it. Uh, but I smash. Yeah, I'd smash. I, okay, sure. um, I don't think we're going to agree here. Ryuk from Death Note. Ryuk? hmm I don't know, like... Half of me is saying smash, and the other half is saying mash. mash. He's like not my type, not my but, type. But I get that he's a type. I get, you that. know. I, okay, I hate to break this to you. Women who find women who are like Danny Mata is I. I need Danny Mata in my life, and I would can smash you, Ryuk. You, that is that's the Venn diagram is one circle. Have you met women like that? Can you say like I, what what are their names downstairs? <laughs> I show a picture. I show this picture to Sarah downstairs. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I'd hit it, Mm-mm. Danny. I swear to God, you and Ryuk have the same no. sexual energy. No, Sarah's type is not on me hundred percent. You think so? I know so. We did a whole game about this on oh, our girlfriend you're episode. Right, I forgot about that. She would not find that. Ryuk as sexy. My sister would. This is my sister's type. Really? Oh, yeah. I love that for her. That's yeah. why she wanted to know if you'd seen Death Note. Because exactly. she was like, there's fucking. Remember, I sent you the picture. She goes, I want a Shinigami. And it was hard eye messages. And it was emojis. literally just Ryuk. Yeah, it was just Ryuk. We were trying to decipher what that was because we were like, there's no fucking way it's from Death Note. Yeah. That's wild. Good yeah. for her. Um, yeah. A type, not unattractive, I not guess my type. It's the people who find Willem Dafoe attractive. Yeah. You're like, oh, if you find Willem, like, Willem yeah, Dafoe. Yeah, strange is goblin Willem man. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's absolutely people who do it. Okay, we both mash. No face from Spirited Away. Mash. Shitty personality. Fucking not a thing. Just not enough going on there for Nothing me. going on. And yeah. then when he turns into a big goop monster, that's also not doing it oh, It's for worse. Me. Yeah, way worse. You know, sometimes like voluptuous, like it could be a word used for the goop form. Yeah. Still nothing, do, nothing going there for me. All right, Brooke from One Piece. Mr. Skelly Man? Yeah, Brooke from One Piece, the Soul King. He's got like, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of these, we have to do creative liberty. Like, yeah. Frieza has no genitals. But I'm like, we'll figure something Ear out. Holes. Yeah. Brooke. Full on a skeleton. Yeah, it's like, what even? Like, I have nothing to fantasize with Brooke. Nothing. He's, he's like a well-dressed skeleton. He's a handsome skeleton. I don't think there's a, if there was one skeleton, I was letting, like, you know, like, I would bone. Yeah, all ten, yeah. all, you know, all puns intended. Zing. Um, He would like that joke. Yeah. But if there was one skeleton I'd hit, it'd probably be Brooke. Yeah. But I just But you're no in no rush to do so. No, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yeah. Mash here. Mash. Uh Korra Sensei from Assassination Classroom. Oh my god, I saw the one after Korra Sensei. Stank <clears throat> went nuts. Oh my god. Um I kinda no. The more I look at him, the more it becomes a mash. You're just saying- look at his feet. The feet aren't great. They it's kinda, horrible. It looks like it looks like balloon animals. Here's my thing. Um I, I'm kind of curious about what the tentacles do. You know, I just like. Oh, now. What do you mean? Now you are. What other now person? Now Dagon. What? Oh, oh, but okay, seriously, those are small tentacles. Uh, Big tentacles, I feel like. 
I get it, but he's just so gross. He's slimy. He's like, he's all tentacle. It's At least Aegon is just the mouth. It's not a proud smash. <laughs> I, I wouldn't tell anybody about it, yeah. but I, out of simple curiosity, it's 2 a.m. I see, I see Coruscant so drinking at the end of the bar. I'm like, all right, fuck it. You know, like, why not? You know, I'll be like, fuck it. Let's, you know, how? He doesn't can- not smile though. That's the face the whole time. No, 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 no. There's times he doesn't. He's he's expressive. He has like, but there's set expressions. He has like JPEG sets. Yeah. Like the mouth doesn't open I and close to talk. I forgot you've seen Assassination yeah. Classroom. I know. I forgot you also told me that Assassination Classroom was 48 episodes, which is wild. It's a lot. Yeah. But like his, his faces cycle through set hard expressions. Here's my thing. You can fly you around like a jet. Maybe yeah. do it midair. You, you, listen, a big thing for me, and I, it'll probably never happen. I kind of want to fucking free fall before I die. Yeah. You know those airplanes that like go up and down? You yeah. get to like be in free fall. I think it would be kind of fun to fucking free fall. I don't know. I feel like it'd fuck with your blood. I don't think you could physically get hard. Probably doing not because you're like, there's way more important things going on than like copulation currently. No, I mean, like, you know how jet, like, jet oh, pilots. Oh, you're saying. Like your blood, literally, I don't think would allow you. No, because jet pilot suits specifically funnel blood into your legs. Oh, so it's not. Yeah, that's how you stop yourself. I think you pass out and die then. If jet pilots need that suit because the blood isn't getting distributed I well. I take a Viagra and risk it. <laughs> okay. I'm just putting the Viagra in. I'm, I'm, I'm risking it for the biscuit. Okay. Uh, Ghost Devil from Chainsaw Man. Fucking, this is too far gone. Fucking no. This is too far gone. I I, I think this is going to be a match of mine. It's so frightening looking. It's, it's so just, scary. There's there's a whole category of hentai that is horror. This yeah. is definitely like falls into that category. Not for me. Yeah. It's so, she looks like, I, she, she looks like she invites you over and is like, for your hookup movie, she's like, let's watch The Grudge. Yeah. And you're like, reel it in, lady. Yeah, you're like, all right, I love spooky. I love goth. This yeah. is too far. This is a bridge too far. I don't know what the fuck this whole monster Shiba is. Roba from Blood... Be- I have never seen this entity in Blood Black It, but I, I do not miss talking about this This anime. looks like a Bloodborne monster. Yeah, I too many... It, like it's giving me I don't have tripop phobia this yeah. is giving me tripop phobia there's no intimacy to be had I kind of like its hands for some reason fair it's got big long weird fingers it's like a dementor for our audio only listeners it's mm-hmm. like a dementor from Harry Potter with long fingers and like just holes upon holes for a face just like at, at least 15 holes for a face uh, yeah. which is terrifying so we're both mashing mm-hmm. okay uh, second to last, Orochimaru from Naruto. Easy smash. I would smash Instant as well. Instant smash. Also, like, Orochimaru has the ability to exist between genders. Like, Orochimaru has been a woman, has been a man. Yeah. Um, I, I refer to Orochimaru as they, them, uh, just because of, you know, the, like, amount that they change. Yeah. Uh, so, male form, female form, yeah. I'm hitting. Yeah, enough of that woke shit, Nick. Yeah. Great tongue. Yeah, yeah. What incredible Great tongue. Great tongue. Uh-huh. Snakes? Snakes are sexy. Not, not, not in their uh, great white snake form, though. Like, when they're Beaten battling snake, against... Snake, you Ita- mean? Like, so they... When they're battling against Itachi, they literally, like, they shoot out of their own mouth, and they're just a massive great white snake. Oh, not for yeah. me. yeah. Great white snake. Orochimaru form. It's basically like that snake that you see right there with... Um, oh, oh yeah. Well, no one's fucking making you bang this, that this nightmare. for old snake? No, thank you. Horrible. It's made of snakes, too, I yeah. think. Yeah, that is the worst part It's of a it. big snake snake. Well, that's Orochimaru's true form nowadays. Like, Orochimaru just, like, kind of inhabits a human form, but, like, their true form is literally just snakes made of snakes. Horrifying. Yeah, it's bad. Is it's Orochimaru bad. a god, then? Why would Orochimaru be a god? Like, how do you become that? How does that happen? A lot do of they spir- start as a person? Dead children, mostly. Okay. Yeah. That'll do it. Mostly just a mountain of dead children. Yeah. Uh, okay. Last one, Zarbon from Dragon Ball Z. This is the worst Zarbon, though. It's Zarbon's crocodile form. Well, Zarbon in non-crocodile form. Holy shit smash. Easy smash. I guess they're not a monster in that regard. Mm-hmm. Then. Here's the thing. Attract a man. Too many warts. I'm like looking at the thighs. I'm oh, looking at everything. Right. Like a big frog. I'm a big monster. texture guy, personally. I think that's why. I you think like texture? A soft texture. Yeah. My biggest thing is like, and I understand that men can shave, but like the re- the biggest reason, one of the biggest reasons that Nick bats for the team that he bats for is because women are soft. Mm-hmm. And I love I love soft. Mm-hmm. Big big fan of soft. This guy's too bumpy. Like if I if I was ever like, oh, like kissing on somebody's body and it was like stubbly, I'm like kissing down. Not like, into I'm like it. kissing your tummy and it's like stubbly. Yeah. It's like, I just immediate turn off. Yeah. Like I just- I- I had a girl once Mm -hmm. who we were hooking up and I love this story and I tell the story all the time, Good, but like we were hooking up and I'm like, you know, like going down the stomach and like getting around there. 
And then she goes, she like stops me and she's like, do you have a preference? And I look up and I go, female? <laughs> I was like, woman? Can you choose? Like, she's like, wait, give me a second. Yeah, just, just hear like, like yeah. bones snapping. Like, ow, ow, ow. What's going on? She's like, sorry, I read you wrong. Yeah, I was like, I was like, women please and then she's like and she's like no i mean shaved or unshaved gotcha and i was like i guess shaved and she's like she's just like oh then we should wait and i'm like that's ah, a preference yeah, yeah it's yeah. like oh, listen uh, when it comes to listen i i'd like to redact this take to a certain degree when it comes to pubes i don't give a shit mm-hmm. i don't give a, i don't I, like literally i don't i don't mind at all like if i can if it's if it's cut if it's not don't care yeah it's like for me once you get above like you know that v area if yeah. there's hair you know what's funny too i had almost the same reaction Mm -hmm. to like you with the or like i had almost the same reaction that i did with the pubes to if it was genitals like i was like i guess if i'm ever gonna blow a dude it's now yeah like if she was like she was like what's your preference and i was like female and she's like oh sorry i'd be like I'm here. I fucking. That, I guess I'm here already. I actually, I actually, that is my exact spectrum of sexuality. Is that if you're hot and I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever's down there's down there. Yeah, like, I was I'm, like, I liked everything else. Why? You, I've never tried. That's the thing. It's like if like, you look like a, like, if you look like a pretty woman to me, whatever's down there, I'll yeah. figure it out. Anyway, we're not fucking Zarbon. We're not fucking Zarbon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Long story short. Yeah. Uh, cool. So that brings us to our draft. Oh my god, we have so much of this podcast. We really don't have that much left. We can yeah. make the we make the draft very quick on nah, purpose. It's gonna be rad. Let's go. Explain it for the TikTok. So our draft this week is anime universes that we would least like to live in. Yeah. So you went first last time we did a draft, which was a long time ago. You must be lying. So I, you want to do rock paper scissors? Let's do rock paper well, scissors. Let's do it because That's, before we did this, I was like, whoever gets first pick is going to win the draft. We agreed that the like round one pick one yeah. is massive in this draft. Yeah. So one out of one. Okay. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's fucking go! All right, so my first pick for universes that I wouldn't want to live in is Berserk. Let's go! That wasn't what you, I, okay, there's another universe that I think you would have chosen, but Berserk between the Eclipse, uh, between Griffith just existing in the same universe as me and me possibly getting on his radar at some yeah. point or another, very easily, Berserk, do not want to live in. That's fair if uh, not incorrect. Attack on Titan. That was my second pick. Hundred percent. That baby. was my second pick. And honestly, I did forget Berserk existed. Yeah. So it's a it's, it's close. a close one. It's a doozy. It's a tight one. Because Attack on Titan is not great. It sucks. Here's the thing, Berserk. There's like little villages that are doing okay. I guess like, no one's doing okay in Attack on Titan. Until Aaron does the rumbling, most people are doing okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Attack on Titan. You can see them coming. There's a lot of universes on this list that we're going to talk about where the things that kill you, you can't see coming. Okay, um, like? So I'm not going to I'm not gonna choose it as my second round pick, but we'll right. get there. My second round pick, Blood Sea. Blood Sea. Blood Sea is a, basically it's a story about terraformers who have come to Earth from Mars and the entire show is gore porn and it's just people being ripped in half by things they are too weak to battle against. Like there's no other Titan shifters on their side. Like there's a girl with a sword and that's right. it. But like, it's way gorier than Attack on Titan. Uh, there's not that many people who are going to know Blood Sea, but trust me, you don't want to be there. Okay, nice. Thank you for throwing in some obscure shit no one's going to agree with or uh-huh. no. Uh, I'm going to go Promise Neverland. Not great. Bad, bad time bad to be alive. Bad place to be a kid. 100%. Bad time to be a kid. Bad time to be an adult because you're raising a child farm yeah. to be eaten by bagools. But here's, here's my thing. Small chance you're alive. Because there's well, what, the, the, what's the world that you have to live in? That's the draft. That's that's genuine. That yeah, that's yeah, fair. like that's what? That's a good second round pick. All right, my third round pick, easy one here, Demon Slayer. Fuck. Yeah, you just don't want to listen. Yeah, yeah it I, sucks. Any universe where it's like, oh, nighttime is impossible to live yeah. in. And it's like, oh, hey, go enjoy the entertainment district. Uh, sorry, half the prostitutes are demons yeah that will murder you no it sucks demon slayer is so low-key one of the most like graphic and horrific worlds in yeah. anime and it's like oh yeah oh the demons are immortal and the only thing that kills them is the sunlight uh have fun sleeping at night yeah like it's literally it's the purge every night yeah it sucks um mine's similar i'm gonna go with chainsaw man for my third pick 70 percent of deaths are devil related i yeah. didn't even write that that's fucking good god and damn it i didn't write that down and they're all just every fear yep. every fear hey think of a fear 
it's a devil that yeah. can kill you. It probably will. Yeah. There's a statistical chance it will kill you. Yeah. Imagine, it, well, it sucks too because it's like the gun devil happened because people were afraid of guns. Mm -hmm. Imagine like being afraid of something like on a global or like societal scale and there are just... Instead of a solution being possible, it just breeds a demon. Yeah. You know? What's worse is, oh, hey, the gun devil killed a bunch of people, and now it's stronger because yeah, more now people we're more are afraid, afraid of, of that shit. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's a you know, snake eating its own tail. All right. After that, I'm going to have to go with Dragon Ball. Oh. Uh, just because at some point, Goku can be having a battle a universe away from yours. I know. I'm dead. In, yeah. the, in the tournament of power, they're like, oh, the concussive blows of these two battling against each other is destroying every universe around them. That's, That's a true. fucking problem. That's fair. Yeah. As like literally anyone who isn't a Saiyan. Yeah. Just knowing that there's all these aliens literally like using your planet as like a betting chip. Yeah. Sucks. Awful. Also, the king of Japan is a dog. The king of Japan. Wait, what? Yeah. Japan's got a king in it. It's a dog. I don't remember that at all. Or a cat. One of those. That sounds more accurate. The government's fucked in <laughs> Dragon Ball. But the government has, no, like, listen, Mr. Satan is the world's strongest human, yeah. and he's not even allowed to go to the tournaments. Like, mm. it's like, that's that's a problem. Yeah, you're screwed. Okay. Um, Fourth round pick. Similar vibe, Naruto. Bad place, scary place. It is. If you think about Perpetual how- Perpetual war. If you think about Perpetual war- Child soldiers. Everyone's jutsu- is fucking terrifying. At least yeah. in OG Naruto, you have fucking uh, Konkuro, Shino, mm -hmm. uh, even mm -hmm. Shikamaru is pretty scary. Everyone's so fucking terrifying with their jutsus. If I can make a counterpoint to Naruto, there's places that are kind of chill. There's like the land of hot, like hot water where it's just like a bunch of, um, what is it, hot springs, mm. and they don't have ninja. And like, that's where Hidan came from, and he was like, this place is boring. And sure, he gets pissed and he kills a bunch of people on his way out of the land of hot water. But like, since they don't have a ninja village, everyone leaves them alone. Yeah. And they're like, well, we don't want to destroy the hot springs. I just fucking move there. Listen, we're on our fourth round pick. Yeah. There's there's pluses to all of these at this point. Um, I have a lot left on the board here and it's kind of unfortunate i'm gonna go with oh man give me fire force give me fire force uh because one there was the great cataclysm that destroyed the entire earth two spontaneous human combustion scary and horrible you're like oh oh what a great i i would be such a fucking nihilist i'd be like oh yeah i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna go to work yeah i'm gonna go work at the fucking at the power plant tomorrow i could be on fire yeah no. just just out of nowhere spontaneously yeah combust Nothing Horrible. you can do about it. Yeah, uh, fr from no fault of your own. Yeah. I feel that. I was going to go with a bit of like a troll pick, mm -hmm. um, but in a similar vein, I'll go Soul Eater. Yeah. Do you know Soul Eater takes place in fucking Nevada? Not hell. <laughs> I thought it took place in hell. You know Soul Eater is technically a sequel to Fire Force? I do, and you know what? Fuck you and everybody else who like thinks that's not a twist. The second... Even if you don't, even if you just talk about Soul Eater yeah. in a video, I don't know if it's like assholes thinking they're like being smart. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I know this. It's and Aragorn. Don't. It's like. It's Aragorn kicking a helmet. Yeah. Like every, like the second I put out a Soul Eater video, all the comments of all of the Soul Eater videos yeah. are, did you know this is a sequel to Fire Force? As like. If you didn't know until Fire Force ended, yeah. it's a goddamn twist, jackass. Yeah. It's it, not. It is. Well, it didn't get canonically confirmed until, yeah, like the last two or three chapters of Fire Force. But there's hints all throughout Fire Force, like the same moon exists, like the creepy, smiling, like bloody yeah. moon exists. And so like there's like hints throughout it that the because the mangaka is the same for both. Uh, and so everyone's like, oh, they must be connected. They must be connected until eventually in the end, like. Yeah. Fire Force turns into Soul Eater. Not a great place to be. Like, uh, there's zombies. Yeah. Uh, there's misers turning people into weapons. It's all bad. Yeah, it it's all, all sucks. bad. Nothing good about it. You but don't want to live in either of his universes. Yeah. Okay, that's our draft. Tell us who wins in the comments. Uh, maybe we'll create a poll. Uh, we're not going to put any stakes on it because we hadn't talked about it previously. That only leaves us with Best Boy. And news. And news, which we'll get to. Uh, best Boy, this my Best Boy this week, Astro Boy. Yeah. Uh, because Astro Boy... 70 years after his original anime coming out has now got a new TV show. Oh, and everyone loves it. Yeah. It's we found out about it 
Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Yeah. Right before we two started recording. Two hours and two minutes ago. Because everyone was like, we were just like looking for news and we're like, what the fuck is Pluto? Apparently Pluto is the best anime ever made. Neither yeah, of us have seen it. Yeah. So Netflix original anime based off the story of Astro Boy called Pluto, but like based off the story of Astro Boy in like a more realistic, like kind of grungy, somehow tied into the Iraqi yeah. war. Yeah. What drew our attention is like, we were looking at it. It said like, you know, Pluto episode two out. And then the description was like are we ready to talk about the iraq war yeah and i was like okay when did, i'm ready when did this happen yeah it's but do you ever watch banana fish yes you did no i lied why do you do that? i thought you were gonna say heavy of the fluoride eyes because <laughs> that's what i compared it to that's so funny yeah banana fish deals with the iraq war mm -hmm. and when i saw that i was like oh this is like interesting and compelling like yeah. what a cool I guess because Japan had absolutely nothing to do with it. Fuck all. What a cool, weird setting for an anime to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it looks gorgeous. It looks a little CGI heavy and the CGI no, is... The CGI looks insane. It looks real. Like, it looks like real life. Real. But I don't know if it'll, like, clash because the show doesn't look like real life, you but know? But the animation looks... The animation looks like Studio Ghibli level. Like, it's Hayao gorgeous, Miyazaki yeah. gorgeous. It's very pretty. It, it looks... It has, like banana fish vibes in terms of its look first off it is vivia the fluoride eyes it's yeah. like oh my god robots and ai have become so powerful like we can't differentiate them from humans it's like it's kind of like detroit become human um and they're like okay now what are we gonna do with this and i was like watching and i was like this is astro boy yeah i was like it's like about a, a robot boy being raised by a family and apparently like at the end it's like oh yeah this is based off this, the story of astro boy yeah which is crazy considering the fact that like most shonen manga oh a lot of like their entire stories to Astro Boy. So to know, see it get so like crazy. re skinned is crazy. So I'm gonna be watching it. I'm picking it up uh, immediately after yeah. this episode because clearly it's fucking important. Uh, so yeah, my best boy is Astro Boy. Same. Oh, wait, best boy. Yeah. Mine's Spider Man 2. Mm. It's fun. Didn't you say Spider Man 2? No, you said Spider Man 2 did something. You said it looked bad. It does. Yeah. It looks it, it looks like a fucking NBA game. It like a really, 2K that game. Was, I was watching your video where you yeah. were like, it doesn't look good. And I was watching the cutscenes and I was like, this looks like my 2K. Yeah. Like, it literally looks like my like it like looks like the like the 2K yeah. career. Yeah, it looks like the 2K like campaign. A lot of people in the comments were like, I thought this was the Sims. Mm -hmm. But like But there was also a lot of people who were like, I'm happy it came out and it wasn't rushed, and that, that Sony doesn't push their animators to like the amount of like people in your comments who were like making the most weird. Yeah, it very was not weird. even like I understand loving a show or a, or an anime or a, or like a video yeah. game, but like making weird tangential, like definitely not the fucking point yeah. arguments yeah. to like counter your argument was so it was it's glazing to a T. I know you genuinely you went at someone. Like because yeah. they were like they were like, oh, it just came out. Like, give it time. Yeah. And you're like, fucking, what do you mean? When like, was the, last the graphics texture, will get better? When was the last texture update DLC a fucking yeah. video game company ever released? I know. It like, so like, I made that video because people were talking about it. Like, people were like, why do the graphics look whack? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like, I get crucified for it. And they're yeah. like, it's no one's saying this is your fault. Whatever. But. Uh, the game is very fun. Yeah. it's And you can have these two thoughts simultaneously. Isn't that crazy? And that's yeah. super weird that, that can I can like, have This to... is really good. There's something that's funny about it. I know. It's like, yeah, well, that's the thing too, is it's like people who can't take criticism of something, I firmly believe, like, don't love it enough. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone came at me and was like, Demon Slayer is boring, this or that, I'm confident enough in my love for Demon Slayer that I can be like, like oh, you're right. Oh, God. Yeah, like, I'll be like, that's fair. Yeah. But if you freak out about it, it means you're afraid to be convinced that it sucks. Just enjoy things. You and just like if it. other people don't enjoy them, be like, oh, that's cool. Fucking whatever. I know. But like, no, it's super fun. It's like, it's just so, there's a little too much of not being Spider-Man in it. Mm -hmm. Like where you're like, Peter. I thought you enjoyed the, what are the stealth missions who are Mary Jane? Oh, the Mary Jane, Jane yeah. ones. They're fun enough. They're fine. Mm -hmm. But like, there's moments where it's like you being Peter Parker doing fucking nothing. I saw a clip from Jose where he was like looking at like a mortgage, like a mortgage letter. And like, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are we doing? Well, it's like, and people, I made a video about that too. And people are like, um, it like fleshes out the characters and does oh, yeah, this and Peter that. Parker were like, I wonder what's going on in that dude's life. I know people are like, photo what? trauma. I can't I get the girl. I know people are like, 
Oh, it'd be boring if you're just Spider-Man the whole time. Super wouldn't be. The Batman games did it so fine. They managed real well just being Batman the I like whole the time. part of the God of War games where I just play a doting father simulator for a half hour. What the fuck are we I talking know. about? I like when Kratos clocks into his nine to five yeah, for a bit. Yeah, he's like, oh, gotta go make ale. Like, what? what are we doing? It's also just not like, it's like, it's almost like the Scorsese fans who are like, the movie needs to be four hours long. And it's like- Fuck, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's like, people are like, you know, oh, it's it's fleshing out this and that. It would be if those sections were like, well-written or interesting, but it's just fluff. It's yeah. like, so just nonsense. But the game is very fun. Like. Yeah. Which no one will listen to. You like, can have these two thoughts at the same time. What, yeah, when you're Spider-Man, it's sick, it's hype. They do something that we talk about sometimes where it's like they will take an established character or like two characters and like twist them or merge them. Like, yeah. for example, Harry Osborn. This is just the plot of the game. Yeah. It's not a spoiler. I've seen the TikTok already, but please explain it for the crowd. It's sick. Harry Osborn, uh, instead of having like the goblin serum to like cure his illness has the Venom symbiote. Yeah. And I just love that. Like, that's such a cool way of, like, making it something new, but it's in line with, like, the lore and stuff because it's, like, obviously Harry is going to, like, lose the symbiote because we all know that Peter ends up, like, getting the black suit Mm -hmm. and that makes, like them have a rivalry like yeah it just works these people and these powers exist in this universe we can put them together like just because it hasn't happened prior doesn't mean we can't do it yeah so game of the year for sure not okay super not boulder's gate just sweeps like it's so good i can sit here and try and think of a thing i didn't like about boulder's gate for a day and i won't come up with it yeah like it's it's objectively I'm i'm not gonna say it's the perfect game there's nothing wrong with it the only thing that like people can say about it or like the only thing people argue you against can't fuck it. any gnomes. That's that's the biggest complaint I've seen is that anybody that's under stupid anybody under four feet you can't fuck. There's that, and there's like a bunch of like annoying people who are like a turn based game can't be game of the year. It's, it's so like good, it's what so, are you it's doing? So yeah, it's so good. sick. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. My flashback of the week is that Kagurabachi is the number one manga on Earth. So last week, I think I might have lied. I think I said, like, last week, I was like, oh, it's it's number one. It's number one. Last week, it was, like, number four. So it just passed Boruto, which is the number five manga on, like, Manga Plus is, like, where, like, amount of reads. Kagurabachi has now passed Chainsaw Man, the third most popular manga on yeah. Earth. JJK, the second most popular manga on Earth. And now, One Piece as the most read manga on Earth. I hate this bit. I don't know if it's a meme anymore. I hate the bit that is Kagurabachi because it's really not that good at all. It's but it's but the thing is it's just good enough. No, I disagree with you. It's just good. It's not. It's, is not, it, is it's it, not people being like, oh, this is refreshing. I like that it's simple. No, no, there's no. no way. That's not what it is. It's it's not that. It's, I'm not saying Kagurabachi is better than One Piece. But if you want to use this as a clip, it's me saying Kagurabachi is better than One Piece. Please do it. But. Kagurabachi is just good enough that the meme can be stretched into it actually being successful. Yeah. If it was any worse, people would be like, oh, it was fun. Fucking see you later. Yeah, yeah. But it's just interesting enough. The artwork is just good enough. It's just gory enough. The characters are just likable enough that this meme will snowball this manga into being one of the most popular manga on earth. That's what's annoying because it's so the epitome of a just good enough. Yeah. Like the art's not that good. And it's the- pretty good. It's okay. The art's pretty good. It's pretty okay. It's, it's the fights are easy to read, which is yeah. a fucking rarity. It's very like I don't know, it feels like like One Punch Man or Mob Psycho vibe where like the expressions are all kind of like basic and weird like Well, the main character is just not that expressive. I guess like, so. but even his like, friend, even his blonde friend is doing like One Punch Man expressions. I guess. The little girl know. that they have is the most expressive of the bunch. And she's, it's kind of like the Anya effect. She's like, yeah, add a little girl, like a, like a four year, five year old yeah. girl, like into the mix and like making incredibly violent things around her. But like, she's this cute little entity and she needs to be protected. Yeah. That's going to be like, that's going to be successful. It's the art's like good, but it's no like, like my hero chainsaw man. No, like it's better. Full on. Listen, you're on, on a fight. If you took a, if you tell me right now, I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, like it's, it's art is better, but uh, the fight's are so easy to read. Uh-huh. Like, it's like, 
MHA out of all the manga currently existing, but by the way, MHA is like seven or eighth right now in most popular yeah. manga, which is mind blowing to me. But MHA, trying to read those fights, you in can't manga, tell it's what's the, going on. It's yeah. the worst manga on earth for that. Yeah. They're so easy to read in this. It's the best way I can think about it is Kagurabachi is like, remember the, the time traveling treehouse books? Yeah. It's that of manga. It's easy to read. That's not a compliment. It, wildly <laughs> successful book series. You've read, how many of those have you read? I've read. Maybe twenty five. I don't read any of them. You didn't read any no, of them. No, I've was never all read, I read any of them. Growing up was the time traveling treehouse. Ones. Yeah, and it was just like them going because it was formulaic. It was just they would go to a place, it would get fucked up. They'd have to help these historical figures. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's not gonna blow anybody's mind. But because of that, it's gonna be successful. I think that's my thing. Is it's like like One Piece. I know you haven't looked at the manga, mm. but those fights are also incredibly readable. Yeah, but the art is also gorgeous. Like there's no moment. That makes me like stop and like soak in the art. Yeah. Unlike like um whatever the Full Metal Alchemist's new manga is, gotcha, or yeah. like like anything, or like any manga. I mean, mm -hmm. but it's just an annoying bit. There's actually my been a couple of moments, ass. like especially when he like pulls out like N10 and like cuts through a whole crowd of people. There's yeah. a couple. There's a couple of really cool panels. I look if it like suddenly gets really good, mm -hmm. I'm for it. Like I'll say I'm wrong right now. How but, many like, chapters have you read? Uh, four? How many are out? There's five. Yeah, there we go. But what's crazy is like, so only the top four or five manga on earth get leaks. So it's like people like actually put in the effort to be like, all right, this like this chapter is out. So I'd say everything from One Piece down to MHA. So probably top seven or eight people like scan, translate, put out three right, days early. Yeah. Kagurabachi, uh, by the third chapter, it was on leaks website. That's so crazy. Wild. That's so weird. It's, what it's, a weird phenomenon. It's absolutely insane. All right, what's your flashback? I don't have one. I Perfect. Don't think. You'll yeah. take mine. This brings us to the part of the story uh, called Love Letters, where me and Danny ask our live audience of YouTube members a question, or will they ask us a question that they want us to answer? So if you guys ever want to ask us a question live and see what we're up to, see how we feel about things, all that kind of thing, become a YouTube member, uh, four ninety nine or five ninety nine to be either Team Nick or Team Danny. You get to watch us uh, make the podcast, fumble through it, twerk. I do a lot of twerking for the live audience that you'll never get to see, unfortunately. I mean, you did see a little bit this episode. But uh, also you can see the parts of the podcast that we cut because we do cut some parts most weeks because me and Danny are slightly controversial sometimes. So if you guys want to ask us a question or watch us live, become a YouTube member. Daniel, do you have any questions? Princess asks, what anime would you isekai yourself into for a week? I, so the for a week bit is important mm -hmm. because if it was just like always i do pokemon for sure yeah become a pokemon trainer become a gym leader make my nine to five get my 401k but you're not going to accomplish anything in a week as a pokemon trainer. in a week i'd go into the pokemon world for a week check it out have fun bond with a pokemon come back fucking hate every animal in existence yeah. in our dumbass boring world why doesn't our why don't our bulls have three tails i'd go up to my dog that i currently have now and be like why don't you do razor leaf mm -hmm. like what's going on i trained it, you hard enough why isn't your mane currently on fire yeah exactly but if we're just visiting i think my hero i think it'd be a fun visit there's too much there's too much terrorism going on in my hero for me to want to live there do you get a quirk for the week 80% chance, let's say 80% chance to get a quirk for the week. Then still, yes. Okay, cool. I'd prefer it, yeah. but like, otherwise it'd be cool. Why? Do you have one that like doesn't continge on you being special? So here's my thing. I, if I'm only there for a week, the thing I isekai myself into, food wars. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to try food so good it undresses me. That's fair. But let's say it's like 6 a.m. and you got to get to the airport and it's like, oh, let's make a bowl of cereal. Then you're yeah. like, oh, oh, like fucking, I can't keep starting my day like this. Right. You know, like I was like, oh, cool. Hey, honey, uh, a little tired, but I know you wanted to go out on date night. So maybe let's go get Italian food. Right. And then it's just me getting groped by a spaghetti monster <laughs> on a Wednesday night. And I'm just like, I don't, <laughs> I love I don't think I'll hate this anymore. <laughs> I love the idea that other people can see the like metaphor. Like you take a bite and this big man in a lobster costume just like <laughs> just bends you just over. Just clamping your nipples and you're like, like, honey, don't look. Just like bends you over, like pulls your pants down. Dorothy's like, oh my God, where's the man? And he's like, watch, <laughs> you watch this happen. You know how much I pay this goddamn chef? You're going to like this. Yeah. Lobster is just like making eye contact with Dorothy, <laughs> just like snipping right by your ear just to scare you. Like, yeah, yeah, this is your man. I just wanted the bisque. <laughs> 
But like for a week, <laughs> yeah. I'd be interested to see food so good it does that to you. To be fair, in a similar vein of like, but do you have a quirk? Mm -hmm. You would need to be around that food. Because Food Wars is just earth. Yeah. But at a school with good food. Yeah. You know, you'd have to be at that school. But I'm ideally. assuming, I'm ass let's throw me in there, right? Yeah, I'll exactly. try it, you yeah. know? So, yeah, my answer is Food Wars. Nice. Cool. That's all we have this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for checking in to Talkers Anonymous. We appreciate you being here. We hope you enjoyed our Halloween special. I know we did. We both looked very sexy and cute if you're just listening. I mean, just open YouTube for a little bit and, and look at our outfits because we put a lot of effort into them. Uh, I've been NCHammer23, also known as the Weeb Commander. Guys, make sure you pop into our merch store. Uh, check out our sticker packs. Uh, maybe get a t-shirt, maybe get a sweatshirt, all that kind of thing. If you want to look like you support us, we'd appreciate it. And it's extra money that goes into our editor's pocket so that they can keep making our incredible podcast. So we appreciate you guys doing all that. Daniel, who are you? I am Danny Mata, um, also known as DMata3 on TikTok and DMOT with three T's on Instagram. You can find me on all those platforms. And that's all. That's it, baby. Cool. We are going to hang out with the live audience and we're going to bring up both of our dogs because, yes, that's right. Ava, Wagyu, and Neutron all met and they're now good friends. Woo. So, unfortunately, if you're not a live YouTube member, you don't get to see it, but we're going to do that right now. I want us to be like, all right, ladies, bring them up. And Sarah's just like got pieces of Ava. Like, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> she nipped it the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. All right. Bye, guys. Mwah.